We on right now. Hello. <laughs> we, are we are live. If we're late, it's his fault. You know, I'm always on time. We're live, for real? Yes, we're live. <laughs> What's up, chat? How you doing? It's your boy Gilbert Reigns, aka No Chill, here with the lovely Halloween decked out Melly Monaco. How uh, you doing? Orange is Halloween for sure. For sure. For sure. Looking I'm good. good. I'm good. Looking good. Thank you for having me again. No problem. Mm -hmm. Anytime I can invite you over to the crib and uh, extend that uh, invite. Well, thank you. So we have a lovely show. Um, I'm your I'm your host today. I'm your ho I'm your host today. The host. Y'all pulled up. I see, but she won't give me the computer. So you, you you told me you can't read and talk at the same time. No, I didn't say I can't read and talk. I won't read and talk. Okay, so what's the point of you having the computer? Okay. All right. Thank you. How y'all out here doing on this? Was it Thursday night? Thursday. Y'all can be out there watching the game, but y'all here with with us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, we got some questions. The streets want to know. Oh, uh, yeah? Mm -hmm. You know, there's big topics going on these days. And we want to know how, Melly. Okay, can I address oh. something? Because, you know, I'm reading the chat. Mm -hmm. They say Melly is pregnant. I am not pregnant. Yes, maybe I got it all chunky. I'm, yeah. I'm oh, you scared me. I thought somebody already put one up in you. <laughs> Someone beat me to the park. I'm like, ah, damn. No. Okay. All right. Uh, so no, I am not pregnant. Maybe I'm getting a little chunky. I'm eating good. I'm working out though. But hey, we're working okay. on it. But no, I am not pregnant. That's what I wanted to to uh, address. I'm not in the chat, but I mean, if you're trying to be, <laughs> just got to try. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Are you done? Done with what? You know, yeah, yeah. Is that your haters or your loved ones? I don't. I don't know. Maybe they were your people. I don't know. Oh, okay. It's everybody. It's everybody's chat. So, well, yeah. You ready? I see she made us some drinks. I mean, you're finding your, yourself right at the crib. <laughs> so I, see you to I mean, I used to be a bartender. So, yes, I made drinks. Tell me how it tastes. It's tequila in it. You like tequila, right? I don't, oh, that's all right. Okay. Cool. All right, if I start dozing off, y'all, <laughs> you put something up in here. Okay. Oh, okay. It's not just the liquor. All right, let's get right to it. Okay. All right, the streets has been the streets has been at it, you know, all on social media, mm -hmm. Instagram, um, YouTube, the YouTube male female community has been going at it. Okay. Broke women thinking they should have rich men. <laughs> rich men. <laughs> what what rich man is thinking? They should have broke women too, rich. What what they want? What the rich man thinking? Uh, that rich man, we don't care. We you don't care. Don't, yeah, we don't. Our, we We're don't open to same, everything. Yeah, we don't play by the same rules, so it's kind of funny when you see it. But here we go. Okay. Expectations for a woman like you. Okay. On a first date dinner. On a first date. Yeah, first date. Okay. Um, all right, let's talk about the setup first. The setup, let's say we're talking for a little bit, um, and then you finally decide, okay, I'm going to take you out. I want to meet you. Let's do something. So I would expect, I don't like to, to say expect, because it's like nothing is expected. It's I wish. I wish you could do that, and I would like it, you know? Okay. So I would like him to call me or text, whatever, and tell me what we're doing. Okay. You know, not ask me what what restaurant you want to go to. None of that. I want you to pick. The only question you can ask me is, are you allergic to anything? Do you eat any type of food? Just like, you know. I remember this dude took me on a date, and he took me to a vegan restaurant. And to me, that was odd that you wouldn't even ask, but because he was vegan, he just took me there. And I was like, I want some fucking meat and cheese and all that shit, but Anyways, um, so I would like for the men to hit me up and be like, hey, how about Friday? How does uh, Friday sound? 7 p.m., I'm going to take you somewhere. So I would like that. Here, I'm making the plan. Can, 
you yes. want him to be uh you want him to ask you if you look shit like he's a bartender i mean like he's a restaurant host what do you mean because when you go to the restaurant don't they ask you hey are you allergic or anything so you want him to be him no you don't have to ask okay. but if you're not sure of what i might like you can ask me hey what type of food do you like or mm -hmm. don't you eat is there mm -hmm. things that you don't eat so we don't get to a place let's say it's a seafood place and i'm allergic to seafood now we're like oh i'm gonna eat a salad you know okay. so just to make sure and um uh so yes yeah, so he picks the restaurant i would like him to actually pick me up too i kind of like that but i know it's not safe because first date you might not know the people and you might not want to want them to know where you live okay so maybe not you don't have to do all of that but you know a lot of women actually would just appreciate if you just ask and then she might say no but you ask i know it's Shit, I yeah. might say yes. I'm like, yeah, pull up. Um, and and then um, I would enjoy him being a gentleman. I know a lot of people are like being a gentleman is not really appreciated. I appreciate it, you know, a man opening the door because nobody does it. I, I swear, I've been on a couple of dates, more than a couple. Uh, but people don't be opening doors. They don't guide you into the door. Um it's just, it's different nowadays, but I would like that. Cause I mean, to me, it sets you apart right away and you haven't spent any money. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And I just get in the car or. And then can he pull up a cheesecake factory? Yeah, I love cheesecake. Like you see that menu, they have everything. They have Italian, they have uh, New Orleans food. They have pizza, they have burgers. You can't go wrong. I know it was like that list where they say cheesecake is a no-no. I'm like, take me to fucking cheesecake. I don't really care really like where you take me because it's about the vibe and how we're gonna talk. I really wanna talk. So don't take me to the movies really because I wanna talk and get to know you. Um, nowhere that's really loud. But yeah, I don't have that many expectations, I feel. It's just be a nice person, be a gentleman if you can. Uh, let's just have a good time. Okay, do you, okay, so what is it with the first date? Why does the first date for women have to be so special, over the top and special? Um, I don't know, maybe because they want you to set yourself apart from the other men that they're talking to. Um, I don't know. And I mean, some women would tell you, well, it just shows how much he's invested in me. You know, if he spends that much money, I mean, okay, that's going to show that maybe he has money and that he's really trying to impress her and that's going to make her feel special. So they enjoy that, I'm sure. So the brokest women <laughs> want the most expensive food. I don't know if it's only broke women who want expensive food. I'm sure rich women want expensive food too. Okay, is this fair to say from us men mm -hmm. right, that um, where you eat on a regular, right, it should be like 25% more on a date from the male? Wait, I don't, I don't understand. So if you eat at Cheesecake Factory, well, that yeah. is 25 or so, like Ruth Chris, it's like boom. It's more expensive, right? Yeah. Yes, okay. So that Ruth Chris is like the A, the A to cheesecake okay is that fair for because usually most the men that are being put in this situation don't got money no wait hold on relax <laughs> oh, <laughs> relax okay. don't do that to, to us men out there okay they live they live their means mm -hmm. right so when they're talking about going on a date most men are not trying to spend two three hundred not now like you okay. know two three hundred right away lot, right because you know, you, you asked for a lot of shit. I did? Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, be on time, do all like, and all we asking for is the fuck after. That's it, just one thing. That's all men want, just one thing. And, you know, it's like- So is, got... is that what it is? Like, that's the goal? You guys take women on dates to fuck first night. That's the goal. No, we don't take women on date to fuck. We just want to fuck and we have to go we on- We have to do that. Yeah, you put us on. If it was just us and we were like, all right, go to date, and not fuck or just come to the house and fuck, I mean, men have to save a lot of money. So you want to tell me that there is no man that actually want to get to know the girl and not fuck her right away? No, I mean, wait, wait, say that again. 
So you mean to tell me that there is no man that actually want to take the girl on a date just to get to know her and not to fuck her right away? There is no man. No man. Out there. That is, that's honest with everyone that says that I would rather go on a date to get to know you. I didn't say smash at the crib. We all want to smash at the crib, but some of us are smart enough to know that, hey, no, you know, let's go on on to the dinner date. I just want to get to know you. So you guys just want to smash at the crib. That's perfect world. That's what you guys want. You don't want to go to dinner, enjoy her company and get to know her. No, just the crib and fuck. Uh, Do you have have girlfriends? Do you have friends? A little bit. A little bit, right? Why don't you like hanging out with your girlfriends, right? (laughs) (laughs) It's the same reason we don't want to hang out with them. Right. I mean, but when you have some cool ones, you do want to hang out with them. So you want to say that most women are not cool to hang out with. That's wild. Yeah, I, I mean, until women prove that they can hang out with women, whatever y'all complain is about women, we probably have the same. We probably have the same. Mm-hmm. Okay, so okay. we can take you to Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, I, I would like it. So um, what you said about, like, your first date. Our first date wasn't like that, though. No, no, not at all. Yeah, you, I mean, you, I didn't say it was the perfect first date, you know, and I'm pretty flexible, too. Yeah, I know what like, I like, but if it's not happening and I'm still willing to hang out, I'll hang out. I mean, you picked me up. Yeah, you didn't have a car. I didn't <laughs> have my shirt on. <laughs> what do you mean you, know, you didn't have your shirt it was on? Hot. I was sweating, so I want to put the shirt on at first. <laughs> I don't remember that. I know because you was staring at these eyes. Okay. Trump. Um how do we see this? How do we mm-hmm. okay? Because this is I mean, I don't have these issues. I'm not even gonna lie, but it, it is issues out there okay. for our regular men because for some reason, regular women don't want regular men. Right? It's just weird. They don't want regular men. But it's because they don't think they're regular. Huh? The women don't think they're regular. That's yeah. why. Oh, okay. So they're delusional. So they feel like they need the men that's at their level, but they're not on that level that they think they're on. The, they, bank, they, they bank stubs don't tell them <laughs> what level they are? Like the checks that they I, get. I don't, I don't agree with you. I don't feel like your worth is based on your money. It does. If you're telling men that they have to have a certain amount of money. That's not all they're saying. They're saying you got to be tall. You got to have. No, but Yeah, we're going to get to that one. Okay. So, okay. Why do most six-figure women get to treat regular men like shit? Well, um, they don't get to do it. They just do it. It's not like a, a privilege that they have. But they do it. But to me, that's just they're bad humans. That that's just what it is. Nothing gives them the the pass to treat a man poorly. They just do it. Do you have anything to say to those ladies? Uh, yeah, you should stop. <laughs> <laughs> you should stop. I mean, I'm trying to think about like. Because sometimes it's hard for me to to answer for women because I don't think exactly like some of the women. But um, so sometimes I do feel like the men, a lot of men think that their value is in their money. And probably society, I've told them, yeah, if you're broke, you're, you're nothing. You know, so I, so I understand that. Women say it too. Mm-hmm. So I get it. But your worth is not in your money. Your worth is how you are are you a respectable human are you genuine are you a nice person do you do stuff just to help people out like stuff like this is really what your value is it's not just your money yeah see our our young men out there is not being treated for the value of that they're being treated for their money yeah and if they don't have it these women are looking down on them Mm -hmm. i mean i i understand but it's also, I don't feel like we can put all the, the fault on the women only because, okay, I've dated a guy who didn't have that much money and uh, I'm, I'm not rich, but I do, I do okay, you know? And, Are uh, you six figures? <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> You're stupid. Yes, whatever. So then I. Uh, so you six figures? <laughs> You're sweating? I heard six figures. See, of course I'm sweating. Mm hmm. Okay. I need to act right. Whatever. <laughs> but, men, but men, but you're saying that, but you don't even believe in that because I don't think that men value women's money. They don't. You don't. Exactly. So you don't care. I make six figures or I'm broke. You don't care. But um, so I went out with this guy and we were talking for like a month or two and I was like, oh, let's go to Vegas. So it was like, wow, you know, I can't really do that. I'm like, I got you. He was like, you sure? I was like, yeah. So I booked the hotel. We drove because he didn't want me to pay for the for the flight. So it was like, can we drive? So to him, it was probably less, but it was more annoying and probably more money too in gas. So I was like, okay, no problem. So we drove. Uh, I like to go to the Encore. Have you been? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I booked the hotel. We go to the Encore. And um, the whole trip is, I think, funny. And... I don't know, he's making comments about, oh, look at these white people. <laughs> I guess the uncle is mostly white people. Mm -hmm. I, should have, I should have thought about it and maybe taken him to... Circus, circus. <laughs> <laughs> is black people only over there? I've it, never it, been. It, it just probably fit his, okay. his financial status. I've been to the MGM and it was, no, the Cosmo. And it was a lot of black people mm -hmm. there. So I was like, maybe, I, and it's still nice. So I was like, maybe I should have taken him there. But um, I took him to one of my favorite restaurants that, uh, that is at the Encore. And he's looking at the menu like, what the fuck? Okay, I'm just going to get some eggs and bacon and I'm good. I was like, you don't want to try this and that? And he's like, no. So the whole time I felt like he, he was uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to understand why he's uncomfortable and what I might have done to make him uncomfortable. You know, I'm, I'm starting to think like, is it something I'm doing? But no, I think after thinking about it, I, I release uh, the <laughs> responsibility and the blame. And I feel like it just wasn't um, comfortable maybe with being taken care of, with being around people that make him feel like he's not where he's supposed to be, that he doesn't have enough money. So, um, so yeah, I feel like some men are not ready to, to date women who have more money than them. No, no man, the, 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 no man is really um, ready to date someone that makes more than them because of mm -hmm. how um, society perceives that. You know, like um, if you're not providing, since that's the only thing we're supposed to do in this world, mm -hmm. provide and protect. If you're a man that's not providing financially, the world deems you as less than less. a man yeah right so you know if you have a girl that's actually um has money right you do feel um inferior you don't got to use that word <laughs> <laughs> no but i thought you were looking for your words <laughs> no I, i'm looking for a nicer word okay we so what's a nice than, than we supposed to be and it kind of does make us uncomfortable it kind of does put us like standoffish because this power you have financially over me, like you're taking me to dinner, you're booking us for It's not a fucking power. I'm it trying is. to, for us to go enjoy something. If you had the money, you would pay for it. You don't have it, I'll pay. What is the big deal? Because usually that, that goal line, the end of that is always a woman big boy that man at some point, taking away his, his manhood I, and the argument. Do you think I did that? Like from what I said, do you think I took his manhood away by taking him, telling him I got you? Like, did, uh, hey, did I do hey, that? Whoever you are, can you hit the link? We can find out. What <laughs> link? <laughs> <laughs> Drop the link, we can find out. No, but just if you think about, like, if you think about some of these um, YouTube um, debates, mm -hmm. right? When a regular man sits there and, you know, says these questions, you can see how aggressive women get. Right. What else can you do? Can you cook? Can you clean? Can you do? I mean, I should be able to be what you are to a rich man. Mm -hmm. If a rich man has money and you want to be a stay at home wife and you want to cook clean, you should give the same respect to the man who decides to do that because a rich man don't look down on you with your broke ass. 
No, real. We don't look down I mean, on you. I mean, I understand, but it's just in who we are. Like, the man is seen as the provider, mm -hmm. and the woman is seen as the nurturer. So once you flip it, then it's kind of off, because it's not really in your nature to be the nurturer. You know what the rule is? Like, if someone asks me if... if it's not every 99.9% .9 of men shouldn't date women who make more than them. Here's why. Mm. Think about the regular woman, right? She makes less than the regular man, yeah. right? So the, the, the woman who wants the most out of everything is the least on the totem pole, right? Mm -hmm. In reality, right? It goes women, regular women, <laughs> regular men, rich women, rich man mm -hmm. so the lease on the totem pole wants the top wants the top spot so if you're a man um and this woman makes more than you what ends up happening is this what did she do in her profession what type of mind does she have to have made that kind of money mm -hmm. right she's an aggressive mentality she had to she had to like fight through different men in her workplace. Mm -hmm. So her attitude is already a little manly, a little manly and a little altered, mm -hmm. right? So she's more demanding. She's more like, like, like she's more with the pants on. So the only way to really get in front of that is to really make more money than her. So if you make under that, she doesn't look at you like equals. She mm -hmm. doesn't, she doesn't value your stay at home clean and because if you made more money than me, trust me, there won't be no argument. I'm cleaning, <laughs> I'm cooking. And you shut the fuck right? up. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting home with the dick. Whatever you need, <laughs> massages and shit. Be, but, <laughs> but are you, as a woman, going to value that coming from the man? Mm -hmm. Right? So, you know, a rich man, we'll value you know, a, a clean home, everything taken care of. But I don't think a powerful mentor from a woman actually does respect a man who's sitting home taking care yeah. of the, the kids and being this type of, because it doesn't, it doesn't, even though he's a protector, he, he's just not a provider. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, he's one. Yeah. He's, he's providing a safe space for the house. And I don't think women want a safe space for the house for the if house. the man doesn't <laughs> make the money. Yeah. Okay. So what do y'all think, chat? So should women not, should women with money not, um, date below their bracket is that what you recommend or do you recommend women to change their mentality and be a little more flexible women with money got to actually find out what they really want because what they really want they don't want to look at if they if they want peace if they want somebody to value them mm -hmm. and value their money and their education mm -hmm. right they have to date people who don't have it Right. It's like it's like uh, I have a glass of water. If you have a glass of water, you don't value my water. Yeah. Right. You have to be thirsty to value this. Right. So someone who says I have a high education and I have money, you, I'm not listening to the shit you got. You what, what are you talking about? That's not something that I'm looking for because I have it. Right. So mm -hmm. what are you bringing? Like, like, bring me something I don't have if you want me to value it. If you want to say, oh, yeah, I'm smart. I got an Ivy League, this and this. Oh, yeah, congratulations. How the fuck does that help me out? I don't know. I would value that in a man. I value a man that is smart, even if I know I'm smart. I still value that. That's Congratulations. No. But I'm, <laughs> I'm saying for men, we like, you like, like, you have to be able to. So you're saying uh, a man who is smart with money is not going to value a woman who is smart with money. Have you ever dated a dude who's smarter than you? Yes. How does he sound when he's talking to you? Condescending? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> not, but not all. Some know how to tone it down, but yeah, some yeah. sound condescending. Yeah, same thing with women smarter than men and make more or less condescending talk. Um, so, you know, when you're talking mm -hmm. about like a, a, a woman with money, she's in this, this battleground in the middle, right? She goes too high, she feels like she's not respected because she doesn't have anything over there. Mm -hmm. She goes low. She don't want them because they don't feel manly enough. Yeah. Right. So it's it's that's it's a hard place, especially if that's what you're using um, in the relationship. If that's your, you know, your ace of spades, mm -hmm. then you're gonna ha you're gonna always have problems because 
you know, you, you know, a woman that's talking about, you know, um, I make six figures and like you sitting here trying to have a conversation with me about, you know, why, why I don't listen to shit that you got going on in life, you know, <laughs> what's on TV? Like, no, I'm just, and I'm just saying like, you, when, when you get to a, another level, it's another mm -hmm. way of thinking. Right. And I don't think that, that, that middle class of women don't really understand. That yeah. You have to really like pick a guy and this is for everybody. Pick someone that brings something to the table that is not the table, right? Like, like I, I, I've asked someone, I said, Hey, listen, if this is what I'm bringing to the Thanksgiving dinner, right? And I named the items. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, now what are you bringing? And they wrote the same. The same. The fuck do we need two of everything for? <laughs> the fuck do we need two of like I got this, 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 this. When you bring yours, what are we gonna do with it? We're gonna put it in the closet somewhere. You bring a table, my table's better. You bring TV, put it in the closet, which means it's not valued because mm -hmm. it's sitting in the closet. Bring something That's to complete this Thanksgiving. Okay. People, entertainment, trash bags, so, so I can value it. I don't think people go into relationships trying to figure out. Bring something that is actually the same level. Like if I'm bringing a turkey, I mean, turkey is the most important thing, right? So it's entertainment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Your turkey is entertainment. Your turkey is people. Like I got a big ass turkey, nobody, people to eat the turkey, mm -hmm. right? There has to be this level. And I don't think we, it's more of a competition. And I think, you know, when you, when you're making a certain amount of money, especially for women who make money, it's not competition, right? If you make more than a dude, you make more than a dude, right? Don't make them feel less than. Right, start to treat his ass like a little puppy. Good job, you cleaned the dishes. Good job, you put your own clothes away. You know what I mean? You start getting the point. No, that sounds crazy. Which part? To treat him like a little dog. I mean, I mean just you congratulate him for the shit he's doing. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying. What, what is my fellas over there saying? Because you know, I don't, I can't, I can't see my chat. Yeah, so how's my chat? How's my chat doing? Are y'all out there doing very well? I, I haven't know. talked to y'all in about a week. How's my chat doing? Is your chat in here? Yeah, everybody is in here. Okay, how, how's you can talk to your own chat because they don't like me any motherfucking way. Why don't you think they like you? Why don't like me? Yeah. Because I'm not the typical male that they see on Instagram trying to fake it for the gram. I just say what I, I feel because. I'm in a whole different tax bracket where I don't got to play by their rules. I think you refer too much uh, to your money. Yeah. Why? Because I earned it. I earned okay, it. Okay, but you're more than your money. I earned it, so. I, I, I know you played, so, you made your money, but you're more than your money. Sometimes people got to know I act the way because I earned it. So. I don't think making money allows you to be shitty to people. Cap. Oh, okay. It allows me to do a lot of things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Speaking of that, what the hell is the 666 man? No, speaking of that. <laughs> speaking of that. Speaking of <laughs> There is no, <laughs> no correlation, but there speaking of that. Money, 666 man. What, what is that? Can you explain to... Um... to they know. Everybody knows. Um, so women, most women... Let me not be like you and generalize every woman. Uh, most women want a man uh, who is um, who makes six figures, mm -hmm. so a hundred thousand plus, who is six feet and above, and uh, six inch dick. I I replace I know I replaced it by six pack but i really think it's six inch dick can, 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 what is it ladies is a six inch penis or it's a penis six pack so, somebody's saying six pack six pack so it's a six pack it's not six somebody says six 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 men six kids six women <laughs> this is not it sir um oh my god people saying poor melly has to stay drunk to stay around you no, I enjoy a, a drink. Can I'm I... drinking too, so what were you talking about? You need more? No, you're not going to get me. Yes. 
Okay, so that that's what it is, the 666. Okay, and that's the ideal that's the ideal man for the women. Um, for a regular woman? Yeah, all all them girls be asking for that. So the regular woman who makes about what 32 35,000 dollars a year. Mm -hmm. uh, wants a, somebody over 6 foot Somebody who makes six figure with a six pack. I think it's six inch dick, but yes. Um, why? Okay, six feet. Uh, I think they want to feel like you have enough money to provide for them. Six feet? Uh, I'm, I said six feet. Yeah, <laughs> six, six figures, I'm sorry. The money. Uh, so 100,000. I think women... A lot of women don't want to work. A lot of women want to be taken care of. Even if they work, they want to feel like if something happens to me, if I can't work no more, can you take care of us? It's just that protection that they're looking for. So they feel, I don't know who decided, but they feel like if you make 100000 you're good. But um, I looked it up, and um, only 15% of American men, uh, all races, all age, um make more than a hundred K. Only fifteen percent. Fifteen percent. And seven point five percent of that lives check to check. Of the one who make a hundred thousand? So fifty percent of people who make a hundred thousand live check to check. Okay. So so that's that for the money. Okay. Uh six feet. I looked it up. I forgot though. Uh it's not that many people that are in the six feet. Mm -hmm. And then you had age and race and you know that's different too um but maybe that's the protection you know they still want to feel like you know you can grab them the proper way so they feel like if you're taller uh, if they're taller than you it's not a good look a lot of girls be saying uh well when i wear my heels i want him to be taller okay uh and a six inch dick i'm still gonna it, say it on the says six pack Millie. I, I don't <laughs> I'm you starring that. No, look, somebody just said somebody said six assist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're the only one saying no, I'm penis. not. I just I just saw it. Um fuck, I missed it. The chat going too no, fast. No, there's only no, I'm sorry, man. You you can't just keep no. is it six? No, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, okay, I just looked it up on Google and Google said it's six inch dick. That's not the one. Yeah, I think you she's, No, okay, okay. He she's wants capping. she said she didn't even Google that. You see? <laughs> she didn't even Google. Wow. <laughs> no, I looked it up earlier because I, I was still confused about what it is, about the, the men um about the last six. And it says inch. I swear. We're going to like you don't trust me. Um, that's not what I saw. Shit. Uh, of course, I can't find it no more. Let's go 666. Dating the 666 man. Sorry. Um, here. Uh, that's not it. What's a 666 guy? Uh, where and when we're looking for an ideal guy, they have to be above six feet, mm -hmm. make at least six figures, six inches, predicting to be at least six inches. Okay. Six inches. So did I lie? No. Thank you. All so right. What, what, so, so, okay. So that's the ideal. That's the perfect man. To women. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm sure they had some uh, other qualities, I hope. I mean, isn't that the devil? Right? So that man. Some people say, I said that before, and some people were like, no, it's actually the opposite, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I don't look I mean, into, into numbers like that. That man would be the, the, the devil's mark, in a sense, because six foot, he's not tall enough to stand out or be an athlete, in a sense. <laughs> right? Um, there is basketball players who are six feet. Four, five. Okay, I mean, you're talking about 450 people, and you know, I'm just saying it's not 
ideal. Major- it's not ideal that a, a basketball player would be six foot. So, you know, being six foot, it's you're on the bottom end of the spectrum. A hundred thousand, you're the you're, the, you're the brokest rich dude, in a sense, because you have six figures, which mentally you you feel rich, but you're mm-hmm. still broke. Because you know, after taxes, what you got about seventy three thousand. Okay. Right. Um, your apartment. What what were you paying? What two thousand? Two thousand, three thousand rent. Okay. Right. You can't really afford a girlfriend, so I guess that's why seven point five of those guys are still living check to check because it 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 seemed like it'll put you in a higher mentality, right? Where mm-hmm. you will want to prove that you're not poor and you'll get you're a little bit more, more bills. You spend more. When you don't have so so okay so you're saying women shouldn't be asking for the six six for the six of the the first six because it's not high enough they're still kind their, of their, their, their income they're in, like a six figure income um I'm pretty sure someone who's you know seventy five thousand eighty thousand mm-hmm. probably st- bills they probably more comfortable month to month than a, a guy who makes a hundred hundred fifty thousand. Because their lifestyle, they're going to be in probably a one-bedroom apartment. This guy is going to try to get a house or try to get some type of, you know, he's going to try to get a Benz or something. I mean, he might, he might be smart. Why are you, be smart. Why are you yeah. like, saying that the, the guy that makes 100000 is going to leave, uh, how you say it? Check by check? No, beyond his means. He let, because 7.5, half of them are check by check. So the half is... You know, you're upgrading your life because mm-hmm. you're a six figure dude when today's six figure, the today's six figure, it's uh today's hundred thousand is three hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. So technically you need to make three hundred thousand to be a hundred thousand dollar person in yeah. Yeah. So Okay. So are we okay with wanting somebody who's six feet or no? No. Yeah, I mean if you're it's okay. You know, if the average girl is what five what is the average height for a woman? Five three, five five. I think it was five five and five seven or eight for men. So when is someone taller? Five eight. Yeah. Okay. And uh, six inch dick. I mean, the average penis size in America is what four point? No, I looked. It's five one. Five one. Yeah. yeah you know, a little. Bit I look. Bigger. I saw five one and I saw six. So I don't know. So everything is a, a little. But that's what I'm saying. Everything is a little above average. So the average woman wants. Above, a little above average. average. Okay. When you say it like that, it's not bad. But when you really <laughs> break break it down to America standard, you know, like the average man is like no one wants to average the, the 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 no one wants the average man. How does the average man really compete in today's world? Then his class of women, the girl that's next door to him, knock knock. Hey, you got some sugar? She don't want him. She's yeah. thinking bigger. I mean, maybe they, you got to go lower. Lower than you. So so who's delusional? Men and women at this point then? I do think that women are delusional, but I also think that a lot of men cater to the delusion. Therefore, it validates that they're delusional because they get what they want. There's a lot of women who ain't shit, who don't got money, who have regular looks, and they're able to get those 666. So it validates her even more to be like, yeah, that's what I deserve. So someone would ask, in theory, men probably love harder than women. I agree. Okay. I agree. Why do you say that? Because men... If we don't value your status, right? How much money you make, and it's basically how you treat us. Yeah. Right. We'll, we'll, and you, you liking our personality, or so if we don't have no standard on what you live like, and we're like, you treat me nice, I'm happy with you, make me smile, I'll date you. That can go from someone being a billionaire, high millions. We don't really care about your status. We just like mm-hmm. how you make us feel, right? That means we're loving the person. Yeah, the, the the woman is loving the status of the male. Yeah, I mean, a lot of women once you, you know, you provided a lifestyle, the minute you can't provide it again uh, anymore, it's gonna be a problem. She's gonna talk shit and she might leave. 
Yeah, that is she, facts. Because she wants the lifestyle more than she wants you. And if people think that uh, you know, what we're saying is wrong, in today's world, in groups of happiness, married men, mm. single men, single women, married women. So married women are the least happy. Why is that? Um, I don't know. I'm not a married woman. But, <laughs> I mean, I'm but, sure you've read that the, somewhere. No, no, because what the, were I, they saying? I guess the idea is when they when they marry, they're expect. I, I can't talk for a married woman, but it seems like this: when they get married, like let's say you have six inches. <laughs> I guess when you say I do, they Six expected, inches is good. No, what I'm saying, they're expected to go to 10 or something. Like they're expecting some <laughs> magical you, thing that's going to happen when they get married and they're disappointed to their own unrealistic expectation of, of a male, of what, what marriage is. Like they, it's I like, don't know. If, I mean, I'm not married, so I, so I don't know. But um, if I'm with a boyfriend for a long time and we finally get married... I'm not expecting anything to change from what we had for the past one, two, three years that we were together before we got married. Why am I going to expect that it's going to be different now? Because I'm married, I, I got a ring, we went to court. What is the difference? We're still the same. Mm -hmm. We're still the same people. So why am I going to expect you to be even better than what you were before? You're going to be the same. In theory, yeah. yeah. But, but sometimes... Just humans, we put expectations on things. Like, you, I remember uh, Richmond told me if you really want to see your value, give a dollar to a bum, mm. give a five dollar to a bum. Okay. Right? They will be ecstatic. Mm -hmm. Right? Give someone exactly what they're asking for, they will be happy. Okay. Right? That is. He said, if someone asked you for five dollars and that's what they asked you for, and you pull out 10 grand to find the five thousand and give it to them. Five dollars. The five dollars, that hundred grand, that ten, I mean the ten thousand dollars in your pocket that you pulled out just took away from what they wanted. That's crazy. Right. So now they don't even appreciate the money they asked for because their expectations of what they just seen mm -hmm. overshadows everything. Now they're like, damn, I should have asked for a hundred dollars yeah. or, or so, more. So now think about just a little bit. Let's say, you know, you want a ring, right? Mm -hmm. A woman mentally has an expectations on how they should be proposed to. Okay. Right. Like they have this dream of <laughs> what a man should do. Okay. Now you want to be married, right? Do you want to be married? Yeah. One day? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, sure. Like, that's a thing. Like, you know, I want to ring, I want to be married. And you go through it, and the guy just says, Here, I got a ring. Here it is. And boom. That's right? how you propose. Yeah, you, that's you how you propose. You just give the ring. Just give you the ring. Okay. How do you actually feel about that process? You're right. I guess, I mean, shit, if the ring is nice, I'm saying, Oh, you did good. But it's true. I would probably want a little more than just you here. Mm -hmm. Like I would want a little more because I feel like this is kind of special mm -hmm. and I would like a little more. Not saying I need, I don't know what they'd be doing, like the, the craziness, but just a little more than just, hey, kind of like, because at this point, it seems like you just gave me a gift. Mm -hmm. Here's a gift. <laughs> you don't, do you even ask? Would you like but to marry me? Would you, would you want to marry me? <laughs> <laughs> now, but you can see how you can turn something you yeah. want into you still get what you want, but it wasn't. But it wasn't how I pictured it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I think that's just what happens with us. But the problem sometimes I think with women is, as men, we we look at it for what the value actually, what it actually is, what we see, what we're getting, mm -hmm. and I think that you know women are. They're adding the extra layers on this grand thing, but only they know the grand thing. So when they don't get the grand thing, it's a fail, mm -hmm. right? Like, yeah. in your mind, instead of seeing, I'm still getting what I want. Or just tell them, like, let, let's say you you go on a first date, right? And you said men don't open the door, right? Well, if men don't go on dates like that and they don't really know, that's something you might want to say. Like, hey, say you it. know, can you please open the door when we go on dates? You know, I want to feel special. Like if you say it, say it, a man to do it. But if you're expecting a man to do it,
do to it know. and know it. Yeah. That's a different because if a man don't have a father, which we know the percentage is that, mm -hmm. then they probably won't know that or think about it or like, you know what I mean? I it's, mean, by now, every man should know how to open the fucking door. Like no, no, it's no. social media. You should know, even if you didn't have a daddy, you should, you yeah, should but know. But it's not, but because it's not, we're not, we're, y'all like, like men just go on dates all day, just practicing shit. <laughs> <laughs> like we just <laughs> out here, just, just practicing. Like go on a real date, this time I'm going to do it. Like, no. I'm not saying you're <laughs> practicing. <laughs> I'm not saying you're practicing, but come on, opening the door. I, you don't need to practice that. But that's like, what I'm saying. Like, think about it like a, a male, like <laughs> we're going on a date. Like, think about the average man. How many dates is the average man going on a year? One, two, right? For the most part, one, two. So he's not he's <laughs> not in the game to know, like, oh, I gotta open the door, we come around. You might already be on this side, you might be half the door. Like I mean, it, if it's late, it's late. But like But, but I'm saying it's 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 a thing that if you're not consciously <laughs> thinking about it, so <laughs> it's one of those things where, like, I'm picturing you rehearsing before you leave the house. Like, like, open the door, like, <laughs> I mean, shit, we rehearse everything else, I guess, and we be practicing. You practice, pumps. we practice pumps in the bathroom. Yeah, but like, put the leg up on. So we do practice shit, right? We do practice shit. But, See, so you practice on what you think but, is valuable. Yeah, but, ex <laughs> but expectations, like your expectations have to be said out loud. So you at least help us. Like we're not, a, a man is not a mind reader. We don't know what's going on. Like we have male instincts. We mm -hmm. think how we think, right? So uh, for the most part, you can solve all these problems by just saying it. Saying it. it. In a way, but, but in it, a way that you don't nice. make them feel yeah. like. But it's just, I, I know, we just yeah. hope that you know. So we don't mm -hmm. get it saying, I'm like, you opened my door, I didn't have to say nothing. Oh, wow, we did that. Like, it's more like I can brag more about you if I didn't have to say anything. I'm like, he knows. Damn, he knows. Okay. But it's it's like anything. You, anything you, we're, we're naturally training our partner mm -hmm. to adapt to us. That's what everything is. Like from when you go into someone's bedroom, right? You might have your side, they might have their side. And then eventually someone's going to be on, a, on the other side, right? Mm. From showers to waking up to eating to putting yeah. we're, we're naturally training each other. Mm -hmm. That's one part of training too. The, hey, you know, I, I like that. my door open. Yeah. Right. I like to feel special. Maybe Maybe not at the house, you don't need to open it, but when we're in public, can you please open it because people might go. Like, you can just tell that to a dude and, you know, like, all right, okay, cool. I'm a, I'll do you it. You know what I mean? He might miss yeah. it the first couple of times, but eventually, it's, he'll do it. It won't be overnight. Eventually, a year, year from now, now you got a dude who's just opening the door. Like, it's, you know, you, you have to work with him. Just, that's, yeah. and, and I don't think, for the most part, we're, we're willing to work. We want the apple tree we plant today yeah. to bear us apples tomorrow. Not realizing... That apple tree might not bear fruit for another two, three, mm -hmm. three years. But today, y'all might have done pl planted fucking 14 apple trees. And by the time you get back to this apple tree, someone in our already done ate your apple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, fellas. Can, I need the fellas to answer this. Okay. Okay, so if the if the women have a six six six, what what do we have? Oh, for women? Yeah, what what do we have besides? You guys have low fucking fake, standards. So we have fake titties and BBLs. Man, <laughs> 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 what what? Hey, fellas, what is our ideal woman? But that's not. I mean, I hear a lot of men not liking fake bodies, so I don't think it's a male. He don't say it out loud. You get that fake body in between them, them, them lights. And nobody's looking. Trust me, he's hitting. We'll hit a hole in the wall if it says. Wait, wet wait. I, I want to know, guys. Can you put one in the chat? What would you prefer? A woman with natural body, even if it's not super curvy or whatever, or a woman with a crazy body that is fake? 36, 24, 36. <laughs> put hey. one. Wait. Put one if you go with the natural body all day, or put two if you go with the fake body. What would you prefer? One or two? Come on. Nat that's my occasion. Natural or fake body? One, one, one. The fake, the natural body is Ooh, not that curvy. Six, I'm letting you six, know. Six, six. Oh, one, one, God. one, all natural, natural, 100%, natural, one, one, one. She said six sides. Baby God is in the building. Hey, what's up, baby God? Baby God say natural body. 
one 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 finally one two i just found it hey, too hey what's your measurement i don't fucking know fuck you <laughs> I'm, just, no, I, I, I'm sorry i'm just uh, i mean you know is those like 30 is that 36 excuse me mind your fucking business no i'm just i'm just they told me that you didn't see the question someone asked that question uh no i don't know yeah. i don't know my measurements i don't, I don't even don't know, know where size. they put the i only know the bra size What's i that? don't know the hips or the stomach bra size. mind your business i said it must be th- must be 36 boys <laughs> must be 36 boys i got him i got it i got no, somebody said melly is 36 26 32 i'm not out of that 26 is tiny at the waist i'm not tiny 32 is what the the booty the hips i'm not 32 for sure did you 36 (laughs) of which one the booty no i don't think so i don't know i i don't measure myself that's like the measurement for like models so they know when they go on on their thing they know what to give where are you going you want to measure fuck you i'm not (laughs) come on fellas Come on, how we do this? How we do this, fellas? Yeah. No. I mean, just in case you really want to know. Somebody said measure, you. Yeah. yeah, come on. Let's. We're not measuring me. The fuck is this? No. You want? I can measure myself. I don't care. We're not asking about you. <laughs> measure your dick, then, because that's what women would care about. Four inches. Measure your dick. We don't care about your waist. <laughs> no, my booty. <laughs> How much is your booty? Hey, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> How much is your booty? It's big, huh? This motherfucker got the biggest booty I've ever Wait, seen on a man. Is this? this said 46. Is that? <laughs> no. Like, nah, this shit broke. Yeah, yeah but you got a big ass booty. Your yeah. booty bigger than mine. Yeah. And you have that little arch in your back. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> relax, relax. You got the arch. Yes. That should be poking. Yeah, it's big. Anyways, anyways, what, what's next? <laughs> what were we talking about before the measurement? Oh, we're talking about the no, we were talking about the ideal woman for a man. Oh, okay. So, so yes. Yeah, so all of them responded one. No, they didn't 36. respond with fucking measurement. They responded mm-hmm. no. They responded with one or two, and one was for natural women. And they say, I don't fuck about no natural. She's natural skinny. She weighs sixty two pounds. You right, have- I'm pretty sure we're gonna turn it down. Nobody, yeah, natural. When we so need natural, so so between, but you go to the extreme. I said a natural woman with no crazy curls, but like nice body, regular, mm-hmm. not crazy. Just regular. Name name an actress. Oh, uh, Paula. What's her Paula name? Abdul. No, Patton. Paula Payne? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, now we're talking. Okay. Exactly. Her body is okay. natural, I think, is natural okay. and nice looking. Okay. okay. Doesn't have too big big boobs or big ass, just yeah, natural. We'll okay, we'll take that. Yeah. Okay. okay. And compared to who got a big booty? A fake one. We'll take Paul. We'll take Paula. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hey, oh, okay. speaking of that, I don't know why. Listen, ladies, if you out there and you're thinking about getting um surgery. Save your money. Save your money because in reality, you're getting you're getting your bodies chopped up for ugly dudes. The only people that really value like fake bodies and all that is dudes that are not cute. So when they do get money, they're looking for perfection because they was never it. Um, if you look at some of the dudes that's like modelish, right? They they get women at a high rate. They don't really value fake bodies like when you talk about like the models out there like those mm-hmm. high-end model men or some of your high-end celebrity dudes mm-hmm. they don't really date um fake bodies like that for the most part okay but they're dating but regular... would you date a girl with a fake body does it look fake like ant booty like popsicle style no like it, it, no it don't look fake they, they did a good job they did a good job you can't tell well then if i can't tell then it's but awesome. you know you can tell, but you know. How do I know? I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going that far. <laughs> but yeah, maybe you paid for it or you can tell. If like I, If I paid for it, yeah. I mean, of course. Of course no, if you paid for it. for it, I guess. But let's say she comes to you already remodeled. 
you take it or not? It feels nice, looks nice. How is she as a person? Nice, nice person. Oh, it's fine. I mean, you know, our oh, kids. Also, you do fake bodies. I mean, our kids ain't going to be, you know, what their mama look like. I mean, for sure. You know, yeah. I mean, body wise. Yeah. So. I mean, unless she did the face too. But okay. What is your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Uh, bad hygiene. That's a big one. So if you just came from hooping? No, it's different. Okay. I mean, go in the shower. Uh, bad hygiene, someone who is cheap if with me. Okay, if he's poor, it's obviously okay. I'm mm -hmm. not trying to make you go spend money and, you know. What is cheap with you? What does that mean? Cheap with me is, first off, you, you're okay. You're, you're doing fine for yourself. But there are some things that um, you won't spend money on. And I'm not the type that's going to ask you for a bag or anything. But just little stuff of you, you, you want to know what's you know i went on a date with the dude and he said um he wanted i think i don't know exactly what he wanted but he wanted something that cost extra he he ordered let's say a steak guacamole? maybe let's say he ordered a quesadilla and he was like i want some guacamole on the side the the server say it's extra I was like oh no 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 that that's a level of cheap that I can I can take. I, I, so I guess he's not cheap with me, but I saw the cheap tendency and I was like, I can't. Like you want it, you got the money for it, fucking pay. You know that that I didn't but I didn't like that. But that's all men. That would say no. No, all men, okay. We're weird, right? And um, so you're gonna so, say no to the guacamole? Yeah, because maybe he don't want to spend extra on that like an extra three dollars on yes. guacamole you don't want to like, do so that. like what i'm saying is men have vices right and you might think that their vice is expensive but to them that's cheap so he might not spend you know three dollars on guacamole but here like he'll spend five hundred dollars on some shoes that he's probably gonna wear one time that's crazy so he's gonna spend his money he just spends it in a way he wants to yeah. spend it right me like me a chef, right? A chef that says, yo, a thousand dollars a week, right? Thousand dollars a week. To me, that's too fucking expensive. Too expensive. Okay. Four thousand dollars a month for a chef. But I spend 10 grand on Uber, Uber Eats. Okay, so you're stupid. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what I'm saying is, I don't give a fucking, you can't tell me Where that a chef is worth four thousand. But I'm gonna spend. But he him. brings the food, right? I know. Yes. So how is it not worth it? I don't know. But in my but brain, in your head, that's in what it is. In my head, that's how it works. Like I would not pay no chef a thousand dollars a week. Like even though I'm spending ten grand, and I'm happy as fuck with the food I'm getting for ten grand, and it's not high quality. Okay. But I would not spend four grand. I think you're ripping me off for some odd reason. I have no idea why. <laughs> okay. I have no idea why. No, I mean, I seems... understand some people want to spend money where they feel like spending the money, you know. So, so I get it. But um, but that's what I said. So you can't really judge him. You can't really judge him on those things because it, it, it all it all equals out. If he has money, it equals out. You just got to find out what he's spending his money on. Okay. And most likely, it'll be something stupid. Okay. But it's still a deal breaker. A man that I feel is cheap, I can't. Like me, I don't. I don't like going to the mall to buy clothes. But I'll spend damn near some thousands on app games. Yeah. Right. I mean. Okay. Yeah. It's just, we. That's I said. We have our vices, so mm -hmm. you gotta really. You can't really think of being cheap like that. It's okay. Just fine. You know. You just gotta. Hit him on guacamole, but <laughs> just figure out what it is. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Um, ambitious. Mm -hmm. if that's you, a pet peeve. That's a deal breaker. A deal breaker. If you don't, if you don't have okay. any ambition, that's a deal breaker. I don't want you to be sitting on the couch not doing nothing, not having anything that gets you going. I don't like that. Even if he's rich. Yes, I would still want you to have some type of passion. Even if his passion is spending money on you? <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> you better keep the same energy. <laughs> no, uh, wait, let me think. Let me, you know, I've never had really a man who wanted to just splurge on me. Never. So, so I don't know how that feels. Mm -hmm. um, no, but still, I still feel like even if you're splurging on me, I still would like you to have something going on, like something that you want to do. Okay. It doesn't even have to make money. Because if you're rich, you don't care about the money that much. So maybe you want to do some charity or build a school or something. I, w I want you to to want to do something maybe. Unless you're retired and you're old, then okay, we can chill. But if you're still young, I think you should be doing something. I think it's good for you. Do you have eyeliner on? Yeah. Okay. You like you it? Put it on for me. <laughs> Not for you. Okay. I put it on for, for our viewers. For you. Okay. I'm just saying because your eyes popping. I was like, there's something different. <laughs> there's something different. You're sparkling, girl. Okay. All right. Um, uh, another deal breaker. Um, hmm. I don't know. No, that's. I mean, I'm not saying that's it, but those are the the big ones. Is that like why you're getting to know the person, or like after you already obviously why you get to know? Where them? you get to know them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. And also things. maybe some somebody who is mean too. Huh? Somebody who is mean. That's a deal breaker. Hey, speaking of mean, okay. Like, you heard of people who, like, beat on women, right? Yeah. Right? Y'all can't see that when y'all first meeting them? Like, like, I mean, you want to I mean, go there? How did you jump all no, the I'm way just there? Because you, you, because you said mean, and I'm like... What? Mean doesn't have to, to be like you beat on mean. That doesn't mean that. Okay. Mean can just be like, I'm happy about something, and you look at me like, why, why are you laughing? Like, just shit like that. That's that's usually in the middle of the relationship, right? Maybe or even before. Or even like you go out with somebody and you're having a good time and they're like, What are you doing? Just just mean stuff for no reason. I don't I don't like that type of shit. But uh the beating on women, do we see that before? Obviously it's no. It's a no, because I don't think any women would enter the relationship thinking she's gonna get beat. So so why do women take the first date conversation as goal? So important. Yeah, because I mean we but you... but the thing is we want to feel special. We want to feel like, oh, I got a good one. So yeah, we start we start dreaming and fantasizing of what we could be when we don't know nothing about the person and probably is just sending his representative to show like the good, you know, the good Gilbert. But then you get to know Gilbert and it's trash. Or you like me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good one. I just used your name. Oh, I, I, I see. I see how you just do that. Okay, okay. No, you're not trash. No. You're you're a nice person. No, I'm just saying, like, so for the most part, right? Like, I mean, you know, but I think you can see some. You know, like someone who is angry. But, like you, you can sense that type of shit. But wouldn't a great wife beater or someone like that disguise that? The reason I said disguise that is this is why women need to really listen to men. Like, listen to men to really understand men mm -hmm. versus just hearing it to try to tell men, like, stop thinking like a man. Because we can see a dude and we're like, yeah, he gonna whoop your ass at some point, mm -hmm. right? Because we can see it in the behavior because we're dudes, right? And we, we're still trying to figure out this part if you really know men so well, you would understand what the trait is mm -hmm. of a dude that is going to whoop your ass later on in life because he has a possessive type of vibe. He hides it behind caring. Mm. He hides it behind caring and I want to protect you because that's exactly what you guys are saying. I want someone to protect you, protect me, this and this. So he knows how to hide behind the same phrases. This is protection. This is a one love you, this and this and this. And I'm like, how can you guys not see the gimmick? Like, you don't get your ass with at some point. Like, if you listen to me. I mean, because I feel like there's still men who will tell you, I want to protect you, I want to do that, and that beat you. Yeah, so. But yeah. That's, that's so, the job so of... that's the thing. It's, it's hard to see because 
some men are going to display the same qualities and characteristics. And then you don't see when he hits you, you're like, oh, wow, I would never think he would do that to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's hard to, to find, like to, to see it. I mean, like, oh, I'm, I'm going to be out before this happened. It's hard. Especially if you're involved, you you love the, the dude. It's hard. Okay, so here's our next topic. Mm. How many petty arguments when you first meet someone before you walk away? How many little arguments, petty arguments, can you go through at the beginning of meeting somebody before it's best that you walk away? Define petty. <laughs> Um, because I feel like petty is always going to happen. It's always going to be petty arguments. I was with a guy for five plus years, and we never really argued about our relationship. It was always some petty shit. I mean, the underline was probably more like deeper stuff, but the arguments were always on some petty shit. Like not even talking about it, taking a, talking about other people having uh, a different opinion. And then you want to be right, I want to be right, and then it just blows up, and now we're mad. Not even talking about us. <laughs> <laughs> it's know, that's, it's that's, crazy. That's, that's most couples. So is that petty? Is that considered as petty? In a sense, yes. Like, if, if, okay. like you have to really like sit down and like to really work it out. I guess you gotta. Those have to be things like, yo, when we talk about other people, we do not inherit <laughs> their motherfucking problems. <laughs> Right, that is a, a real question that like has to be said in the relationship. Like, you know, when we're talking about Will Smith and Jada, listen. If I'm on her side, you're on this exactly. side. We are you can't not, be- yeah, we ain't fighting, <laughs> we ain't fighting for two motherfuckers that ain't fighting for themselves. Like, uh uh-uh. if Will Smith ain't arguing about his girl out here trying to slang pussy to Tupac, yeah, that's nothing we need to fight about. I mean, that's really a topic that you got to have with your partner, but just little petty stuff like this, like, oh, you didn't open the door this time, and then there's an attitude, or you, you oh. got you on your phone too much, uh, you didn't put the seat down. <laughs> like, how many like how many fights does it take before you know that this ain't, this ain't the, it? This ain't it. Even though they're not real fights, but you know at some point it's going to lead to like this no, because- in a relationship. Like, if I feel that they're not real fights and they're not really about us, but more about our personalities as far as, let's say, I want to be right, you want to be right, and that's why we're arguing, but not even about our relationship, really. I don't think it's um, it's where I'm going to be like, I'm done. Why am I leaving a man just because we are arguing about topics? Maybe we should just stop talking about other people mm-hmm. so we don't have those conversations. Mm-hmm. I don't think I would leave. I don't think I would leave because a man keeps on, for example, women want the, the seat to be down. I don't believe in the seat being down. I'm like, whoever used the bathroom, help themselves. So if you go, you put it up. If I go after you, I put it down and that's it. Like my hand is too sacred for me to, to touch the toilet, but you you can touch it, you know, it's, it's stupid. So um, I wouldn't break up because you don't listen and you don't put the seat down. Or uh, you don't open my door, and that's something I really like. Like I can care less. Yes, I enjoy it, but it's not enough for me to catch an attitude and be like, I mean, I might repeat it and be like, yo, how many times I need to tell you? But I don't think it's a reason to break up with somebody. No, because well, I mean, that's not like fundamentals. Is that how you say it? Fund- <laughs> fundamentals. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, actually, I know. Hey, what every show, I every show, I got a word that I don't fucking know. <laughs> I know that word. I just don't know how to uh, pronounce it. Um, so, yeah, I don't think it's big enough for me to be like, oh, I'm done with you. No. What about you? You think there is, if there's too many petty arguments, you're out? It's yes, petty. I, I, That's the name, though. It's petty. So why I, give it so much importance to the fact that you're going to break up? I mean, when, I, I guess when you're younger... Uh, Okay, so when it comes to men itself, we don't know how to be loved. We don't know how to receive love. We don't know what it really means, especially if you didn't come from a a co-parenting home to know how your mother treated your father Mm -hmm. to see what a loved man looks like. How does he perceive it? So most 
men growing up don't know what it really is to be loved by a woman. So mm -hmm. for the most part, the energy, the petty energy early in our 1920s, and early 30s, we think that's love, you know, you know, slashing a car and shit and doing oh, all yeah, that crazy wow. shit. We think, oh, she loved me so much that she's willing to do this. We realize when we get older, that ain't love, right? The drama every single fucking day ain't love. The, 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 the doing things for attention. Like I seen some woman said, um, on one of them shows, mm -hmm. like I, I, you know, I just watch, I watch mm -hmm. a lot. And she said, I will call my man to say my car broke down and see what he gonna do. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> for fucking what? Okay, but does she call him back after, let's say I call you, hey, my car broke down. You're like, I'm on my way. Do I call you back a little bit, like two, three minutes? I'm like, oh, no, no, never mind. I figure it out. Do I call you back or I let you come to the scene and then you find out nothing is wrong with me? What What is it? Who cares? <laughs> why the fuck are you playing those type of games in your relationship? Like, why are you sitting here testing your man? Because I'm pretty sure if the nigga did it to you, you'd be mad. You got a girl over, you like playing under the bed. Oh, ha! I was just playing. I wanted to see what you was going to do. Like, no, you don't play those type of games. I mean, she'll be mad, but then she gets over it because no, she, you no, were no, not she cheating. Gonna, she's going to try to figure like, so wait, so do you don't know this girl? Why this girl in my house for y'all even play these games? And, you know, you're going to turn that. But why even play those games with your partner if you love them? Like, those are the games that, mm -hmm. why go. is it in the relationship? Like, like little things like that. It's like, oh, okay, you, you, your car ain't, oh, you just bullshit. I bet. Mm -hmm. then when the dude started playing those games, it becomes, oh, he's immature. Yeah. Like, there just shouldn't be games. Either you love the person or you love the person, right? Life will test them. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do it. Life will. Yeah. You know, because eventually you keep doing this fake ha-ha, fake ha-ha, fake ha-ha. When, when it's real, I'm not coming. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then you're going to be like, wow, she on this bullshit, hang up, and then... <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Like, you know, you know, you know, you know what I mean? It's... Mm -hmm. Treat your relationship how you want it to be treated. Like it's, I agree. You put, you put like the right ingredients into this meal for this meal to turn out the way you want it. And I don't think we do that. We, I think we expect. Would you keep <laughs> <laughs> like, No, I mean sometimes you talk some real shit. You know, sometimes, <laughs> like I said, no. As far as like, no, you put these all these ingredients in this meal. I'm like, it sounds really good. See, and then it sounds really good. Now, fellas, see, then I gotta throw some some wild shit out there to bring it back to reality. You don't have to throw <laughs> no, because it's like a lot of people just think like you're all jokes and all this, you know. But you're not just that, and people are not aware. No, so, no, no, no. oh no, you, you want to be just like look at him. Try I'm to, trying to save him. You trying to save? You trying to put again? No. Okay, I, okay, I want to do. I want to do something in the chat. Guys, who thinks that Gilbert is the same off and on camera? Do you think he's like no chill and all about bullshit all the time? Or it's mostly on camera and then in real life is different? Please put one if you think he's all bullshit all the time, joking, making dumb shit, like all that wild talk, number one. And two, if he's actually a little different and maybe a little more, has a little more substance. That's number two. Someone told me I was a low value dude. A low value? He said I'm a low energy. Look, everybody is like two, two. No, they no. say he's out there. You go two, 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 two. Exactly. They know about you. You're trying to hide that you're a good person and that you're like, no, I shouldn't say a good person, but that you're just on some demon time at all time. Give me a drink. And you're not. And that's why like a lot of people, you know, they come at me and they're like, why are you, you talk to him? Like, why are you hang out and, and do shit like that? I'm like, he's not the person or he's not exactly the person that you guys be seeing here, even here. I mean, but you see little bits and pieces of see, who he is yeah, sometimes. See, little bits and pieces, then you're going to try to turn that into that. Okay, good question. <laughs> are you giving me another drink? Yes. Yes, what but I I, I'm reading. I'm reading. You don't gotta do nothing. The drink. Okay, is I'm just checking. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I ain't got put out because <laughs> you buying me a drink. So is you, that a real thing? You, no, is that a real thing? Like, dudes buy you drink and expect to smash? 
I mean, they expect at least a conversation or something. That's their intro. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, no, but I think most of the most of the people are like, yeah, you're you're different. We know you're different on uh, off camera. You're not just this wild person at all times. But hey, you want to be that? Be that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you be smile? <laughs> Why can I smile? I love to smile. I'm in a good mood. People are talking about Melly drunk. I'm really not drunk, like just to be clear. But uh, no, why wouldn't I smile? It's nice to see that sometimes you know you have this and other side. Listen, I'm just letting you know, I'm just gonna be a gentleman here. Oh, right. here it is. Let's no, hear, saying, Let's hear what a... he qualifies as a gentleman. You know what I mean? If you, Let's you know, hear. go ahead and drink. If you get too drunk, you know, I got. I can sleep here. Yeah, you... Exactly. Because we don't want Melly. We don't need uh, you. You don't want me driving. I that. know. That's don't worry. Fine. Nice, cozy bed up, upstairs, um, downstairs. Upstairs. Whatever. You know, we got rooms here, you know. And, you know, you can go ahead and get drunk as, as long as you want. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for, for the. For Open the mic. Open invite and for the safety you're providing. You. you know, yeah. safety is one of the things women are looking for. Exactly. Oh, wait, I wanted to say that uh, on the first date, what I expect, I know that was the beginning of the show, but on the first date, do not be too touchy. Like a lot of men be way too touchy, feely, and be talking about sex on the first date. And I'm like, yo, I yeah. just met you. And that's a big turn off. Just it is, fire. but listen. What? We got to throw our shot. We trying to figure out where you mentally are. Like, did you prepare? Did you get shaved? Did you get a wax? Do you have a match? Like, like you, like that? you're gonna fucking care. Like, if you are allowed to smash, you don't care if it's hairy. You don't care if it's stinky. Probably, you don't care if I got penny, uh, like matching pennies. You're ma you're smashing, regardless. No, 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 no. We gonna smash, but yeah. you know what? What we're saying is, if you done got a fresh wax and you got nice penny set. You mentally already. I was said, already ready. Yes, yes. Do it. So, oh, you know for I mean? sure. Yeah. So yeah. You know, we, we just throwing it out there. You know, hey, you look nice, and then you got to rub the the back and see what kind of panties you have on. No, no, no. Yeah. You can't rub the back to where you touch my panties. Like that's wild. I'd be like, what are you doing? Uh, we, we try. Right. We're just we're no, just, but but we're, then we're you men. might you might miss out though, because you trying that too early is gonna turn me off and make me feel like, oh, you're only here for that, even if that's what you're here for. But now it's in my head that you're only here for that. Don't do that. I mean, you're rich, so you say those rules don't ap apply to you. But, no, they don't. Okay, they don't to you, but to, it, to but the it, regular man, I'm sure they apply. Go and talk too much sex, uh, too much about sex to a girl that you just met, or touch her a little, uh, a little too risky, like lay, um, hand on the leg or something. She might feel like you're doing too much. I'm telling you. I'm just, okay, you're not there. You cannot understand. And I'm a woman. So I'm telling you what we feel. Okay. Um, you know, you, you, I see you have a, a car show where you do cars. Right? Mm -hmm. In today's society, forget how, who says who. What is a woman car wise today? Their real value. What kind of car? Are they today? Regular, Honda? like a Corolla. Corolla, right? How about a man? I mean, there is different ones. Mm. I mean, there is guys I would say Corolla, and I, and there is men I would say okay, Lambo. Okay, it's different. And, and usually the Honda mm -hmm. wants the Lambo, right? That's I mean, there is also regular okay. women who want regular guys. I mm. mean, social media make you feel like all women who are just regular want the top. But there yeah. are women that go for actually what for their level. So for the most part, um, if if the Altima, the Honda is seeking the Lambo, the Ferrari. Mm -hmm. Do they not realize that they have no, their value is not their, their worth. Like I hear women talk about, oh my, I know your worth queen, <laughs> your Honda queen. Well, but that's not what they're telling themselves. I know, I know what they're They're telling saying. themselves that they are Lambos. So know your worth. Don't, don't waste your time or spend your energy or allow somebody around you 
or respect yourself enough so those type of bad people, low energy or whatever, don't come around you. That's what it means. Okay, so self, this is the problem with self-evaluation. Mm -hmm. It's your fucking self. No, right? but it's your girl telling you, know your worth. No, so no, maybe no. your girl is evaluating you and be like, Yo, you're better than this. No, but, it treated, but we treat it like just real life, right? Mm -hmm. Your value is worth is what someone's willing to spend. Okay. That is your value. So you can say, yeah, I'm worth a hundred thousand, but someone pays you twenty five thousand. Mm -hmm. No matter how many times you tell yourself you're worth a hundred thousand, when that first offer comes and y'all finish negotiating and twenty five thousand take it, leaving your ass taking your twenty five thousand, you can say, I'm you, more. I'm worth more. I'm gonna turn it down. But until you get it, you're not worth it, right? Um, mm -hmm. You can say you're worth twenty five thousand, and someone's willing to pay a hundred thousand. Then you're worth a hundred thousand. You're only worth what you get. Right. So you can sit there and self-talk yourself to death. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, going around saying that, you know, these are the standards you want. And for the most part, you know, seven figure, eight figure dudes realize that if he can outsource most of the stuff you bring, you're not valuable. Okay. Right. And when I say outsource, it's. Whatever you think you can bring, if I can delegate it to and, someone else, and pay. right? You know, clean, I can get it made. Mm -hmm. Cook, I can. If I can delegate the responsibilities, and it's, that's what high level does, they delegate things that they don't consider important, mm -hmm. right? Cleaning, that's not important. You, you clean, uh, that's not important. I can get it made. You cook, uh, I can get a chef, right? If the person can do that, and when you get to the seven figure, you they, they, they talk about six. Mm -hmm. When you get to the seven and eight, it's delegation time. We're trying to figure out how to delegate as much of the responsibility as possible. And we only focus on um, the most important and urgent things that are like there's meetings that I won't even do. Have my post, my cousin do. <laughs> right? Because mm -hmm. this those are not important for me to do. So I'd rather pay her to do those. Right. Um, and that's how women need to really go into situations like your value is what he needs. If you can help a, a rich person. Make money, your value goes up, find out what the rich person needs, and that's. That's your mm -hmm. that's how you elevate, because. If you can solve a rich person's problem, you can solve a problem that I'm mm -hmm. looking for. That's from, you know, fuck, think about it. Like, like if you look at my thumbnails and they're like, oh man, you know, you need better thumbnails. If you become a thumbnail maker for me and you got thumbnails, think about it, you have a job. Yeah. Versus getting a thumbnail to someone who really can't afford you. Like, I'm going to pay you to make these thumbnails. That's a job. You know, hey, you need titles. You need like there's jobs, and I, and I and for when it comes to relationships as women, like know your value in a sense of if you can't delegate it, that's what you bring. Okay. So what do you bring? Oh, here we go again. I think I've expressed it before. No. No, I'm tired of repeating. No, no, no. For what? So I want to hear. It. Who wants to hear? We do. No, you. They don't. No. They don't. Because you know I'm about to start delegating. <laughs> I'm about to delegate. That's okay. All right. Thank you. Now, you look like you've been through some wild tribulations in life. <laughs> I look like I look rough. I look like life has been hitting me or something. No, no, no. You're not you're not there yet. But um see, people say we do not want to hear. But yes, go. Wanna hear what? The what I bring. They don't care. She brings nothing to say. Her Man. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's the wildest thing that's ever happened to you? A crazy story. <laughs> crazy story, like, like craziest story. Crazier in in what sense? Like, in what sense? Like, you caught your man like oh, cheating. So relationship. You got caught cheating or something relationship type of thing really, just life what's the craziest shit that you you know been in a okay traffic jam shoot out come on <laughs> you're from paris like you no like, I, I didn't experience what? that 
Okay, so I'm thinking of relationships because, okay. I mean, usually relationships are the wildest thing. So, because you know, you spend most time with them, with like your partner. Okay. Um, all right, all right. So I got one. Um, what year? I think it's 2008 or Ooh, nine. That's a good year. That's when President Obama came in. <laughs> oh yeah, I was in DC, so the oh. inauguration. <laughs> What? You was at the same time I was there? In DC? Have we fucked before? <laughs> Whatever. You know, I've never met you before. I've been yeah, I'm just saying because I, I didn't beat a lot of girls and I don't remember their names. That's, That's so crazy. Just, you sure? Yes, I'm 100%. Because I usually sure. know about tattoos. You got tattoos on your neck or your back? <laughs> sure. No, I'm just asking. You know but them well, you never met me. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, I was there and where'd I've never. At? Hold on. No, where'd you live at? <laughs> I lived in the hood. And, uh... Yeah, anyway, okay, cool. You can finish your story because oh, okay. I. <laughs> Did y'all know she was in DC? Like, damn, oh, underneath her. Yeah, I was in DC. So, um. So cap! I... How is it cap? I wasn't in DC. What'd you do in DC? Bartending. College? Bartending. What bars? Uh, it was a restaurant, uh, Rosa Mexicano, right across from the Verizon Center. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you fucking stupid. I've never met you. Like, relax. No, I know you never met me because I was like a specialty item. I didn't go out. Okay, okay. Right so there. I've never met you. Did yeah, you know fact. the wizards? Uh, I know Javel. <laughs> okay, all right. I've seen uh, Nick. Miguel? Yeah, but uh, we were not cool. Javel was really the one that we were cool. Okay. Um, that's about it. Damn. Yeah. Young boys, okay. Okay. I'm just making sure. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, so I was dating a guy while I was in DC. Javel? No. <laughs> I never dated <laughs> Okay. <laughs> You're stupid. No. Um, so I was dating this guy for, for a little while. And um, so some stuff had happened. We were on and off or whatever. And then eventually we broke up. But at the time I was in DC. Okay, I can talk about it now because now I'm, I'm legal. So for, for a little bit, I wasn't legal. You know, I, I'm from France, so I didn't have papers, you know, so, so life, you life was tough. I went to school. Oh, okay. I went to school. Okay. But then I kind of like, I say kind of, I overstayed. And um, so you're not supposed to overstay. <laughs> you're supposed to go back home, but I stayed. And uh, so the guy I was dating at the time, I had an international driver's license and um, I wanted to buy a car. So I, I work a lot at the restaurant. And uh, so I had enough money to go buy a car. So I'm with my dude and I'm like, hey, I, I saw this BMW, a three series. I want to go get it. It's in New York. And we drive there. I get the car. We drive back. He's like, yeah, no problem. So, so we go to New York, get the car. Uh, we get to the dealership and the guy is like, um, well, you can't, we can't put it under your name because you have an international driver's license. So I'm with my dude. I'm looking at him. He's like, well, you can put it under my name, and, but you pay for everything. I was like, okay, bet. I mean, you know, at this point, like you think, oh, you're with him, it's gonna work out. Nothing is ever gonna happen, you know? Mm -hmm. So we put it under his name. I go to the bank, I get a, a check for, I think I think the car was like, I don't know if it was 13, uh, 30,000 or if it was, <laughs> I work, I work a lot. I mean, you know, when they have those games, we make a lot of money as like servers, bartenders, when the games are happening, right across the restaurant was right across <laughs> what what are you saying i was doing i wasn't fucking a fucking waitress or bartender huh i wasn't a, a bartender that's what you're saying oh no i'm not defending don't play with me so <laughs> so anyway so i think the call was like how many clear heels you got how many what clear clear heels clear heels mm -hmm. just one pair just one pair yeah how long you had those maybe a year oh okay okay i didn't wear heels before because you just had 30,000. 30, okay so i i got the check from the bank and then i brought it to the um, to the dealer takes my check put the car under his name uh 
he my my boyfriend at the time takes the uh, put the insurance for the car but i'm not on the insurance but the car is insured so anyways you know we're, we're trying to make it happen i want a car so um, we get the car drive back home everything cool eventually me and him don't work out mm -hmm. i um i move to atlanta no mm. okay so I, I moved first to from dc i went to la for a year i hated it then but i always ship my car so i ship my car and at the time he my ex don't don't want to talk to me or nothing but i'm like yo we gotta be still cordial you know you gotta renew my uh register <laughs> my registration for me and um you know i'm doing all type of like fucking illegal shit and um but you know you gotta make it that, that that's my thing like if you come from another country you gotta make some shit happens for yourself because if i did everything by the book i would be home right now mm -hmm. so um, anyways um he doesn't really want to talk to me when while i'm in la i moved to atlanta still can't get a hold of him he uh he has blocked me i can't reach him yes just a quick question sure all right so we don't go back to that you just you you went to the bank to thirty thousand out I didn't take thirty thousand out. They gave me a check. check. Yeah. So yeah, you had thirty thousand in your account. And you just got it, and then you you went to L.A. You didn't like it, mm -hmm. right? You didn't like L.A. No. And then you moved to Atlanta. Yes. Okay. So I you, moved to Atlanta. Were you a stripper? Never. Because I mean, L.A. You're stripping here, you can't take clothes. Never. I work at a restaurant in L.A. I work at um, Duke's Malibu. Rich people shit. I was the only black girl. Okay. You've been to Dukes? No, now with white people. It, it's really nice. It's a nice okay. restaurant. Okay. So, no, so never you're... stripped. I only bought and did and waitress. Okay. That's right. it. So, it's good money. I mean, it's probably not the money for like um, uh, strippers, but it's good money. No, just, you know, I mean, just, you know, DC, LA, Atlanta. Just, you know, just <laughs> <laughs> got all, you got all the signs of popping that thing. I just wanted to, to make sure, okay, okay. You like strippers? The the chat saying you like strippers. Huh? <laughs> you like strippers. Okay. No, I, I, mean, I, got, I mean, I got a. You go like strippers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep drinking. <laughs> <laughs> You like strippers. Okay. So, um, so what happened? So, okay. So I moved, I moved to Atlanta after LA and I'm still trying to reach him. You know, I'm driving dirty at this point. My license plate, like the, you know, the little thing is not the right year, mm -hmm. but I'm driving. I got to go to work and do, do what I need to do. So I get off work so, uh, about to go to, um, what's the name? Happy hour with some of my friends. And uh, I'm just getting, I think I was getting gas or something. But then I got gas, kept driving on my way to, to, the, um, to the spa. Mm -hmm. I see two police cars behind me. You see me? <laughs> and you know, at, at this point, you know when you know you're dirty and you don't have your shit all the way together, like your heart is all racing? All people, uh-huh. Oh, true. Yeah. I didn't feel like that before. Mm -hmm. and but i never had papers so anyways uh so i see two cars but how they are parked is kind of funny there is one next to me and one kind of like back but there is room here so let's say i'm i'm this is me there is a car on this side and then there is a car right here but there is room here so i'm like why this car is not just right here so i'm like okay this shit weird i'm starting to panic starting to sweat and then the and I'm wondering, maybe I, I was speeding. I don't know, but it's on the street, so I know I'm not speeding crazy. The light turns uh, green. I go, and then boop, boop. Like, I'm like, oh, fuck. It is for me. So I pull in. <laughs> Shut up. So I pull in the, 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 uh, the it's, a, it's a gas station. It's on the north side drive. I don't know anybody in the chat living in Atlanta. That's like a popular street in Atlanta. So I pull up in the gas station and then uh, the motherfucking uh, police comes out with the, the megaphone talking about um, turn off the engine, throw the keys out of the window. I'm like, oh, that's not a regular stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck. So I'm like, oh, I, I'm fine. I, I, I'm good. So I 
roll the windows down, throw the keys, and then they come like with guns and shit, and they're like, get out the car. What? It's what? Get out the car. So I'm like, okay. So I get out the car. They put me on the ground. Crazy. Put me like on the how, ground. How? What do you mean, how? Like, how they put you on the ground? <laughs> I'm not going to show you. Face up, the, ass. Oh, face down no, on the floor. Ass up. Okay. Ass up. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so um, they handcuff me and then they put me back up. And they're like, whose car is it? I'm like, my car. And um, they say, well, is your name on the title? I'm like, no, but I have the title. I have the title at my house and his name is on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, they're like, yeah, I, I, I don't think so. I'm like, okay, well, I'm telling you it's my car. I paid for it and all, like, it is my car. Then they say, is there any guns or drugs in the car? <laughs> I'm like, no. So then they go open the, the trunk, they, they search the trunk, it's crazy. Got drugs in the car. No, I got oh, nothing. Okay. And um, and then they just put me in the back of the police car. That's it. So then I'm like, what's going on? And the dude, it's so now I'm only with one dude. They took all my stuff, they took my keys, my bag. I'm just in the back of the car with nothing. And I'm like, what's going on? And they're like, Well, this car has been reported stolen. I'm like, what? I'm like, Ooh, he took you to <laughs> I'm like, no, like I, I bought this car. I paid for it. Then he's like, well, who, what's the name on the title? I'm like, oh, it's my ex-boyfriend. And they're like, well, he's like, it's not your car. I'm like, it's my car. I paid for it. And he said, no, it seems like you guys probably broke up. He, he has a whole story for me. Mm -hmm. You guys probably broke up and you decided to take the car with you. I'm like, okay, since you already made a story, keep going. And um, so I look, I ask him, when uh, did you, when was the car reported stolen? Because that's March, March something. And I'm like, when was the car reported stolen? He said January 5th, which is my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so this motherfucker went and reported my car stolen on my birthday, probably hoping I would get arrested on my birthday. But they took some months to find me in Atlanta. <laughs> Ooh, so shit. then they took me, took me in, went to jail. A jail? I mean, I don't know, jail, prison, I don't know what's the difference. Oh, but... You were stinking dirty. Yeah. You were stinking dirty felon. <laughs> oh. So I, I went to jail and uh, for like, it was like three days, for like three days. So, you know, I'm in there and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I'm going to get out because I know I didn't steal the car. But then I'm starting to think like, when he's, um, uh, fuck, what's the word? When is like the law really going to be in my favor? Is it going to be in my favor? Like it's his name on it. He can say whatever story. I have the car and my name is not on the car. So I'm starting to freak out while I'm in jail. But I'm still thinking, well, you should try to embrace the process. So I try to take a shower. That shit is not happening. I'm in a cell with a girl that she killed somebody. No, but like, it's not like she went and killed somebody. She killed somebody for like drunk driving. And then she got some years in jail. So I'm in a cell with her. They made me uh, change to like the jumpsuit. I mean, in uh, Atlanta, it's not orange. It's like a blue kind of. So I mean, <laughs> I'm in the suit, not eating because that shit nasty. And then finally they release me. So I go and see a judge and then they release me on, um, I don't know how it's called. It's like they let you go on your free will, but then you're on every Wednesday, you got to report to, um, to a person. You go to the office and be like, hey, I'm still here. I'm doing what I'm supposed Probational. to do. Probation. Probation, yes. So I had to go do that. Then, okay, I'm sorry, the story is long. But then, anyway, so I, I get out, get out, everything is closed. So I have to walk. I don't have my phone. I don't have nothing because they have all my stuff at the police station. So I go to uh, my job. Okay. To the strip club. <laughs> I go to my job. I was cool with one of the cooks. So he takes me home. Then I can't get in. So I end up uh, sleeping at his house. Then he takes me to the police station the next morning, get my stuff, go home. And um, now I have to deal with this whole story of me stealing a car. And mind you, I'm an 
illegal alien at this point. Mm -hmm. So I go to court. I still have no car. My car was impounded for like a whole month. And so I rented a car and uh, I go to court. And then while I'm at court, there is an agent, an ICE agent outside. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to catch a fucking break. Damn, you're 21 Savage. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm out, I'm in court and I didn't put because the first court you go to it's like hella people so it's not just your case they're hearing or not even hearing they're just like okay come back this day or whatever so I put some money in the meter didn't put enough so I'm leaving court but court is not done I I haven't went through yet so I go downstairs and put some more money I, I'm about to go put some more money in the meter but there is an agent outside and they're like Melanie. And I'm like, I don't know no fucking body. Like, I keep walking. <laughs> it's like, Melanie. So I turn around. I'm like, what? Like, you know, I, I'm annoyed already. I'm here with all this bullshit. And he's like, uh, he says his name and he's like, Ice. And at the time, I don't know what Ice is. I'm like, and eh? like, you know, and then he, he spells it out. And I'm like, oh, he's like, yeah, you got to come downstairs with me or co uh, you're coming to the station with me. I'm like, well, court is not done. <laughs> I got to come back to court. So he's like, um, okay, so he's just come to the to the truck. And then he fingerprinted me or whatever. And he's like, after you're done with court, come to the office. So it's the ICE office. And I'm like, okay, so I go to court. They push the shit back or whatever. And then I'm calling my mom after court. I'm like, yo, ICE want to see me. I don't know. Should I go? Should I not? But again, ICE knows where you live, where you work. So you're going to be embarrassed. So you might as well go. So I end up going, going to uh, <laughs> to the ICE office. There is a bitch that's angry, old lady, black lady, angry, telling me, well, why are you still here? You were supposed to be gone to, to France, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, you, you're telling me shit like, like I don't know. I, I know, I overstayed. And um, so they ended up taking my passport. So now I'm in America with no identification, no nothing. Because, you know, I couldn't get a driver's license. I couldn't get nothing. So that's when you saw stripping. This motherfucker. It was never stripping in my life. Please and thank you. So, so yeah, so they took my passport. Um... <clears throat> Then I have to wait kind of to see what they're doing. They put me on the deportation list. So I'm due to be removed. And um, then I drove to DC in the meantime to go find the motherfucker, like, because I'm in Atlanta. So I'm like, okay, I need to find him. So I go to his Where old house. Probably no, not kill. No, no. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> but like, ask him, like, hey, can you remove this? You know, that's that's not your call. Like, I know me. I don't even know why the motherfucker would do that. That was like three years after we already broke up. So I'm like, why are you reporting my shit stolen three years after? You're still thinking about me on my birthday three years later. You're wow. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, so I drove to DC and uh, go through. I shouldn't say that, but I, I find some mails, and the mail show like he owns child support and shit. So I'm like, oh shit, maybe he's trying to get the car because the car has uh, is, has a certain value, so he can come get the car. So stole his mail. As in Why are you saying that? I never done that, never. Um, I never done that, sir. And <laughs> I saw some mail on the floor, mm -hmm. and it was his name on it. Okay. So and it was open, okay. and I just <laughs> I just read and. It said that he owed money for child support. So then I'm going all over DC trying to, to find this man. He had just moved out. So that wasn't his apartment anymore. And uh, I'm like, oh, fuck. So every day I'm calling the impound to see if my car is still there or if the motherfucker came and picked up the car. Nobody picked up the car. So the car is still there. Like they are billing me every day. Oh, they're not billing me yet. But eventually, if I get the car, I'll mm -hmm. have to pay. And um, I'm sorry, it's long, huh? That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> we, 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 get, we get an idea of who you are. <laughs> so then I, uh, so yeah, so then I got a police report from the DC because that's where he filed for uh, the car being stolen. So this motherfucker talking about the car was stolen in front of his house. The, the color of the car is off. 
they say that uh, the window was shattered and that's how they stole the car. I'm like, my car was never like, everything is brand new on the car from like the, the dealer. Mm -hmm. I never replaced um, a window or anything. The car wasn't gray, like he said it was. Obviously it wasn't in front of his house when it got stolen. Um, Cause yeah, also I, um, so I was working on my birthday. So the day that he said his car was stolen, I'm working in Atlanta at uh, Atlantic Station and there's cameras in that parking lot. So eventually when I came back home, I was like, okay, the, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is the footage. I went to uh, Atlantic Station, tried to um, ask for the footage so they could show like, okay, he's saying the car was stolen in DC, but obviously the car was in Atlanta the day that he's saying it's stolen in DC. So it don't make sense. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this motherfucker was just trying to get me arrested on my fucking birthday. Not trying. He got you arrested. You went to jail for three days. Not on my birthday. I mean, not on birthday. It was delayed. He, he, it he, was fucking delayed. He got it. Um, so what did you have to do not to get uh, deported? Did you? ISIS dude? Did ISIS dude? <laughs> hey, chat. Fuck that. Hey, no. Fuck that. Can y'all put... Is this a red flag? Is this flags red? Because if this was a dude talking this shit, the shit she done came up here with, ladies would have red flags, get rid of this girl, run. Fellas, is this, what is this? Blue flags, red flags, what are we talking about here? She done went to jail, she's still in jail. You went to jail too, what the fuck you're talking about? Huh? Huh? <laughs> but, but, huh? Did you look red flag? Look at that, Tony, Tony. Bank, burner account, obviously, burner account. Boss cap, red flag. That's what I'm saying. So look, unfortunately, the leverage you had over me is gone. Right? <laughs> what leverage? I don't need leverage over you. I know. So now so the, the value about? of you know your story to put you down a couple notches, and I'm thinking how um, how does, <laughs> how <me>. does stop. <laughs> how does this put me down when it's like some ex that was mad at me over three years. That comes and report hey, my car. Hey, hey, How hey. is it me? Hey, some of us fellas, we don't got a bad rap because of our exes wouldn't let go, right? Just go ahead and fall in line. So look, I think cheesecake or below cheesecake McDonald's is in your future. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway, so the end of the story, I ended up going to court with the public defender. I didn't want to take... Uh, at this time, I don't have like crazy money. So I... I don't. Because you spent it on the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that was three years ago or more. So um, I just go with the public defender. I give him everything I have. I reached out to the dude who sold me the car. He was like, yeah, I remember you. So he wrote an affidavit for me. Mm -hmm. And then I went to court. And my ex never showed up, obviously. And uh, then they dismissed the case. They released the car to me. I just had to pay for the impound. And then I was able to put the car under my name. When did you build? Did, did they say he had to pay for like uh, nothing? Coffee? Nothing. Nothing. I guess if I wanted that, I would have to to uh, to file myself to sue him for what he did. But yes, I was like, I'm not ex, doing boy, none of that. Ex, boy, they get you every time. <sighs> I'm sorry that you had to go through that. Um, you need You're not show. fucking sorry. You're laughing the whole fucking I mean, story. Sure, you need to cry on. I don't need That's to cry. That right. shit is old. It's oh. old now. You know, sometimes, you know, brings up it's old, but again, I see it as kind of like a blessing because, you know, I was out here just living, not trying to really fix my status. And then because of what he did, I had to fix my status because they were ready to deport that, me. That is, like, I'm so, not even going to lie. That's, that's, that's up there, you know, trying to get your, 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 your ex arrested. And you deported because he knew my status. So he knew if I do, because, you know, you can be here illegally. As long as you don't do anything, you don't get stopped by the police while driving, you're cool. They're not mm -hmm. coming for you. The minute you do something, because it was a grand theft auto. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so the minute the police comes after you and you're doing some illegal shit, oh, it's done. Immigration is on your ass. So yeah, people, that, that's it. people don't realize why I was, I'm, I'm no chill because, you know, I was in the middle of a, uh, custody battle where you know mm -hmm. I won the first thing being normal just you know you know I got awarded the kids and the person didn't receive that very well 
Mm. Like people don't understand that. Like when we first broke up, nobody knew we broke up and I got awarded the kids every Wednesday, every other weekend. Mm -hmm. Right. They was asking for 244,000 and the courts only gave them 10 grand. And then they said, well, you know, we're going to finish out what he's going to pay you moving forward. And I got custody, you know, you know, I got time with the kids mm -hmm. and the time with the kids is not what they wanted. So that's when the fight started. So the fight started after I already got awarded yeah. father rights, right? So if you're living in LA, the last thing you want is a nigga to have rights of his kids, right? Because the more uh, the more time he has, the less the money, money you, get, you get, right? So, you know, imagine if you get 100%, you get 244,000. He gets 40 some percent, 20,000, 10,000. So you're trying to get it back to you. So that's when all hell broke loose. So mm -hmm. he held it up. Like we wasn't fighting over custody. I already had custody. Mm -hmm. We was fighting over, I'm trying to keep, <laughs> like, I'm trying to keep custody and this person won. And it became so ugly where this is, I, like I never told like stories like this where like every time I got in my car, I had to check it to make sure there was no drugs in it. There was no drug, nothing. Like it was like when you're talking about like fucking strategy, like I had to buy a, to this day, I had a private investigator following me. I know it, right? I had, I, I stayed at the Millennium apartment. And so I bought this house, mm -hmm. but couldn't even come here because a private investigator was Are following me. Are you supposed to be saying that? It's too late now, shit. But a private investigator was following me. So I had bought this house when we broke up, but I couldn't move here once I realized private investigator was following me. Mm -hmm. So I stayed at an apartment trying to pretend I was broke. I had to uh, convince the apartment building to put security cameras in the place. So I'm paying half, put security. So we're putting cameras all through the goddamn building, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm fucking scared. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck time she on, right? Um, I had to, I had my friend, buy a Prius. I had my friend buy, buy a Prius, so I drove a Prius the whole time to get out of the building. <laughs> like, so I'm driving a Prius the whole time to maneuver around to go, like, to my farm, to do this, to come check on the house, you know, and shit like that, going this time, because it was, it was, it was, it was ruthless, man. Like, I'm not yeah. even gonna lie. Like, like, I'm making fun of everybody uh, like on, on Instagram. I'm talking shit on Instagram 2015 where everybody's oh, you funny, you this. That was the worst time of my life. Mm. Right? So you're sitting there defending. Like I wrote a letter to the courts. I wrote a letter to the courts like, yeah, you know, you're giving me, you know, this blessing of being a father, but this is the this is hell. I need help. Yeah. Help me. Like I, I said because this this person, the way your system is made, they can throw a haymaker every time. She loses in court. She comes back, fouls tomorrow, and one punch, one like one swing, and she knocks me out. I lose my kids. Mm -hmm. How how is the, how am I supposed to be a regular father? Like I can't even like 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 meet with her because I'm afraid if there's no camera, she might claim something. Like it was really. Like, so we had to, like, they, they put a third party in, they put a restraining order in, like, a stay away clause. Like, it was, it was, like, really, like, I, I tell people all the time, like, if they put a restraining order on the, the woman, how bad do you think she really is? <laughs> like, for a woman, like, to put a restraining order, and they still haven't taken off today. That's how bad. It's been since 2015, they still haven't taken that shit off. Right? You know, um. But I mean, it's been better over the years. I mean, to be honest, 2020 COVID stopped it because obviously you can't go back to court because COVID shut that shit down. So, you know, <laughs> you know, I know a lot of people lost, you know, family members with COVID, but COVID left. Woo! It took yeah. off a lot of pressure and and um and relief. But you know, like I understand when an ex is going bad, and I look like the bad one because I'm the one that's posting on Instagram. But in real life, man. Mm -hmm. I was go I was really going through it. Like <laughs> if something would have happened to her cops, you know, you know he's going through the yeah. you know, black lives and if something happened to her, trust me, I would have been the first one. Stop clapping. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God is good all the time. Like it was it was to that point because life was like when I was saying I was depressed, it wasn't depressed because I wasn't playing basketball. It was depressed because the one thing that I'm wanting in life, someone's trying to take it away from me. Mm -hmm. Like, I just want to be, I'm retired. 
you know, the the, the life it's I, time to enjoy I, your I just kids. want to enjoy my kids, like, you know, to see what they like is about. And it's every day is being challenged. Mm-hmm. Every day I walk out of the house, like I'm re- literally walking in, checking, making sure there ain't no drugs under here. Cause you know, I, I had this house kicked in before. I'm in the middle of podcasting kids during COVID. I'm I'm in an interview with kids. And I have motherfucking the feds outside talking about, yeah, we heard from anonymous source that you growing drugs. And I'm sitting there like, you think I'm drawing drugs in you see this house? Like I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm doing a podcast right here. You got kids. They say, so they looking and they seeing kids and they're like, um, and I'm like, well, you can start downstairs and go through it, but you know, can you be quiet because we're filming? And then they looked at each other and were like, oh, they don't think he's <laughs> nobody who's like growing drugs is gonna be oh, letting geez. us in his house. So, you know, that was the last time, but I, I get it. It's crazy. So I mean, hey, you gotta got let them go. Like if they don't want you to let them go. I mean, but she still wanted you. Let him go. She wanted you. It wasn't about letting go. Like the, the, no, I'm just saying as 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 as. If you're the ex, you're talking. Period. Yeah. Right. If if you gotta fight for something, like I, no, I get what you know. Like if you if you want something, fight for it. Right. That you know that's what we're we're all mm-hmm. taught. Um, but if it's not making you happy, walk away. Yeah. Like if it's not making you happy, walk away. Like you know, not we, we don't we shouldn't sit here like looking for shit to make us leave. If we're not happy, just walk away. If you got to go through your, your nigga's phone and see if he's cheating, I always this is my rule that I always had, and this is this is the real rule. <laughs> Let's hear it. If a woman says, "Let me go through your phone," I'm going to ask this question: If you find something, what are you going to do? If they say leave. I'm going to leave you if I, if you're cheating. Mm-hmm. Then my response is, if you don't find nothing, I want to leave. Mm. Right? So <laughs> no matter what, as soon as you go through this phone, the relationship it's is over. Done. Because what we're not going to do, what we're not going to do is we're not going to just wake up anytime we want to say, let me go through your phone looking to break up. Because that means you don't really want to break mm-hmm. up. You're just looking for a reason to break up with me. So if you don't find nothing, I now. Ha ha! I want to break up, and that's my that's my rule. That <laughs> if you don't find, something, I don't know about that. You no, know what I'm saying is, if you don't like, why why do you get a haymaker at a dude every single time? I mean, time? maybe she's having. I mean, it's not just dudes. It's not just both, one way. No, no, both sides. Okay, it should be. But it's maybe you you're doing some weird shit that makes her feel like, yo, I think there's something fishy. You know, they you, leave. You're not the same. No, because we want to know for real. <laughs> we want to know that we're not just leaving just because we felt something. We want to see it. But what I'm saying is, if you don't, what see I'm saying is you don't have to. You don't need a reason to leave someone. Like if I'm not, like yes, when I left, you do need a reason. When I left my, someone. when I left my ex, I, there was no reason. You have hell of a reason. Stop. No, what I'm saying is, I didn't have a reason at that moment to leave. I, I wasn't happy, right? So I just walked out. That was the problem. I didn't give her no reason. I never gave closure. I mean, like, I'm sure she knew the reasons. <laughs> she knew her behavior. She knew what she yeah, was Yeah, but that's doing. what I'm saying. So I don't need to give you an explanation if you know you're not being good, right? I don't need to give you like, oh, I know this, this, this. I yeah, don't, so you, but I you did trust, have a reason. Saying, I don't trust your behavior anymore. I don't trust you as a person. I don't need to go looking mm-hmm. for something. I just walk. And that's what everyone should go into relationship. If you do not trust the person, just like um, I remember, you know, I'm not gonna say the name because it's it's an ex teammate. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it's ex teammate. He was getting married, right? Mm-hmm. And you know, we over here trying to throw the bachelor party. Like, yeah, I'm about to go to Vegas. Obviously, turn up. And she was like, "You can't go to Vegas with those those guys." And he's like, "Why not? I don't trust you." So he's like, "Wait, hold on." So you don't trust me, but you want to marry? He him? said, "If you don't trust me, why are you marrying?" Yeah. And she couldn't have an answer, so he says, "Wedding's off," mm. and he didn't marry her. But that that but that was a great thing. Like, if you don't trust, if you don't trust me, why are you trying to go down this aisle? With yeah. Me? Same thing with a man, man and woman. If you don't trust your mate, fuck all that nagging shit because the nagging is, I'm sorry, yeah. the nagging is a, a relationship killer. Sitting there being insecure, just nagging, 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 that kills the relationship anyway. So if you got a nag, just say fuck it. I, I can't be there. I'm done. Yeah. I agree. 
It's just tough though to just leave just because we think we want to see. I you hear go, you. Hey, listen, you go through the phone. I'm just going to, hey, you can go through it all you want. <laughs> but it's, you find something or you don't. Either way, this motherfucker's over with. That's how I feel. So what if she finds something but don't leave? That's that's stupid too. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. I, I I don't I don't get it. I'm the type of dude if if you walk in on me having sex, I'm not stopping. I'm gonna keep going. Shut up. The fuck I'm stopping for? What you gonna do? Oh my god! And walk out. So now I got two. I got two things to do. Get up, chase you. Oh, it's not what it seemed like. <laughs> I, and then. But, but why finish? You really need to finish? Yes. Why? Men, finish. The reason is you already lost the one that caught you. Now the one you're doing, if you get up and chase that one, she gone. You're losing both with one. <laughs> no, you finished. You be like, hey, sorry, fuck her. You're going to keep on going. She going to be like, oh, my God, he's staying. He really about You know how girls do. <laughs> right? Now think about it. If you was on the other side of that, right? Think about just I, I know you wouldn't be you wouldn't be that. But if you was on the other side and the girl walked in and he went to chase her, how would you really feel? Yeah, but I would hope you value your relationship more than you value me. Like I'm just a jump off. I know, right? but if he stayed with you, oh said, now I her. think I'm the I'm gonna become girlfriend. Yeah, see. No, I would be stupid. Uh, hey, hey, I brother. would be stu stupid to think that I'm the jump off, but all of a sudden, because your main caught you, now I'm going to become the girlfriend. I yeah, stay the jump he, off. I'm staying right there. Hey, fellas, no. trust me. Listen, you don't lose, you don't lose both. <laughs> and probably, that vagina probably hit better too when it got scared. Oh, I'm scared. <gasps> and then think about what the, the drilling and just did. <laughs> That's not like I said next step. I'm just, whatever. Uh, yeah, hey, whatever. Listen, I I did some research on you. Oh, okay. You was an athlete. Okay. Are you competitive though? Always. Like how competitive? I win every time. Like like win in what? <laughs> in anything. <laughs> like I, like sports wise? Yeah. Like, what? Like what's your sport? Volleyball. And track and field what? and gymnastics. That's not a sport. But I gymnastic mean, is a sport. Stop it. Whatever. Uh what track what what, what events did you run in track? 110 hurdles. Oh. So you're an athlete? Yes. Like what, what's your problem? Because I, I have this thing with like women who like think they like they the shit. Like I I like I, I've never lost to a girl in shit, right? Because it's girls, right? Um, in anything. Not when it comes to sports. Like I'm automatically just great at it, right? Because I'm a male. And um, so, okay, yes, I did sports, and I'm still competitive. You give me. Do you see the look she gave? <laughs> <laughs> she gave you like I did. Look at her face. Look at your face. Like I dare you, nigga. No, but you're talking all that smack. I don't know why why you're bringing that up. Yes, I'm an athlete. And so you can beat me in your sport for sure. <laughs> like the fuck. But uh, okay, again, right, I don't say, yeah. volleyball. Volleyball is not like you can't do one on one in volleyball. It's not the same. The court is way too big. You can't pass yourself to yourself. Like it's not the same. It's not the same as one on one in basketball. You can't really do that in volleyball. Okay. okay. So what what sport are you good at? That's one on one. Tennis. <laughs> you think you Serena Williams? Or you think you I don't think I'm Serena Williams, obviously, because <laughs> I would be there playing against her. No, I'm not her, but I can play. You can be me in tennis? For sure. You can even run. <laughs> okay, run. You can't. You're a girl. Your knee hurt. Okay, okay. How about what would you bet? <laughs> what would I bet? <laughs> <laughs> It de it depends. I gotta see what you're betting. To be I mean, are we betting money? Are we betting I don't know 
Assets. Are we betting? Assets. You want to? What kind of fucking money? You said you make. How long have you been averaging six figures? Okay, can I just ask that? No, we're, we're having now. No, I'm just how many years? Like, you've been a six figure woman. I don't know. I didn't count. I just give us a ballpark. I don't know. Like three, two years. Maybe five three, years. three, four, maybe, maybe. Three, 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 four, five years. Yeah. Maybe. Not not that long. Not that long? No. I mean bartending, I was making good money. <laughs> like six figures bartending. I think so. Back in what in two thousand eight? <laughs> Okay, anyways, uh, I was just thinking about YouTube. What, you Who know? Who the fuck says ass? Did you hear her say assets? <laughs> <laughs> whatever. So, what you so want? So, if I put a million up, that I will beat you in whatever sport you want. A million? Yeah. I'm not a millionaire. So, you want to give me a million? Shit, let's give run me. it. What? Yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a win it. Shit, give me that shit. A million? This motherfucker offering a million dollars. <laughs> a million? Then you won't beat me in tennis? I will beat you in tennis. For a million dollars? So, okay, so if I lose, I, I need to give you something, huh? They say, Gil, chill the fuck down. Um, okay. Six figure battle. Somebody said six figures battle. Uh, Elijah, <laughs> brother, I, I don't make six figures. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I don't you make don't six make six figures? No. But you're willing to give me a million? No, what do you mean? Oh, you make more. <laughs> okay, I took, it. <laughs> I, I took it as you make less. Uh, yeah, I don't make six figures. You better watch yourself. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said, Gil is gambling that NBA pension. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I don't know what kind of pension. I, I'll probably never see my pension. Hey, but forget that. Um, hey, somebody I, say you got to fuck you if you lose money. Fuck no. Facts. Like, Who said gonna... that? Hey, put that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, hey, put that on the chat. Yeah. I'm a prostitute. You guys be thinking I'm just a no, fucking prostitute. No, 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 it's a it's a bet. It's not about like, oh, I'm going to give him pussy because I, I love. No, it's not happening. Sorry, Sam. Um, respect me a little bit. Um, okay, so I I win a million. If I lose, oh easy. Since you don't got a car, I'll give you my car. You give me a 911? Yep. You would bet your 911. Yeah, because I know I'm gonna win. You can't run. <laughs> <laughs> you can't run. I'm, yo, I, um you have a financial advisor, right? Tell her to write a check for me for a million dollars. When we're doing that, please tell me when uh, we need to get it going because I don't See, want you to change your mind. With the six figure <laughs> woman, they really think they out here. They really think they out here doing big shit. What? You gonna bet your nine eleven? I'm gonna bet my nine eleven. It's a twenty twenty two. I'll bet that. I mean, it's way less than a million dollars, obviously. But yeah, a million. Uh, how, how about it? Okay. Tell me, <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> She about to scam you. All right, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me think. Hold on, bro. <laughs> mm hmm Oh, God damn. So, uh... Tell me. We're doing it? When? When do you want to play tomorrow? I got some tennis rackets and, and the balls. Let's go. Wait, hold on. You got tennis, tennis rackets and ball already? Yeah, I oh, play, so play I play tennis. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I try to get me. All right, so how about this? How about this? Let's make it fair then. We play a game of basketball. Oh, that's fair, Mr. NBA. You said I can't move. How about this? We go to tw what? What are the twenty-one, y'all? What y'all think? Twenty-one. If she scores one basket, she wins. Oh, easy. I can do that. You're saying that we're gonna play twenty-one. You gotta score twenty-one, and I only need to score one time. One time. I got you. You think I can score at oh, all? Fuck no. Or, okay, we can do that. We can do tennis. How many matches in tennis? How, what is, how do you do tennis? I mean, we're not going to do the real thing. Like, it's too long. So Okay, so what do we? Like, maybe two two matches two or two sets. I don't know what sets and matches. Oh, so she don't know how to play. So, like, I do know how to whoever, play. like, scores the most points to what? 
okay, we can do it like that. Uh, that's not how it, it's played, but um, the most first to 21. So 21 hits? Yes, 21 points. So, so one point is one point? Yes, not like in basketball, one point is two points or three or one sometimes. <laughs> so, yeah. You don't look like you're in. Okay, sure. I don't you look don't look like, like it. You don't look shape like that to go to 21. It is All right. right. So I can win that one. Uh, okay. Hey, chat, do you got a third? I got, let's do three because I'm going to win those two. Can y'all give her something? Give y'all something. What 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 third one? Bowling? You good at bowling? Yes, I mean decent, not not crazy good. Oh man, win by two. like look, listen, I'm gonna beat her in. Okay, I, wait, I'm making a poll. What should be? Are you putting it in the chat? I think so. I think it's it's the way to do it. What should be? What the, the what is the third one? The... Twerk, twerk off. <laughs> 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 Hey, I, listen, I can tell you this right now. I don't even want to win a twerk golf. <laughs> so I win a million. But I don't want to win a twerk golf because yeah. God damn it, God, I'm telling you right now, if I even think about twerking, I'm considered a whole nother uh, color of a flag. Okay, so tell me uh, what other sport you got. What sports you got? We got bowling. Bowling, okay. Wrestling. Wrestling. Uh -huh, wrestling. Okay. You what? like that? I, 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 yeah. You have another one? Um. How you spell wrestling? Because apparently I didn't spell it right. You, you spelled it right. That's okay. We know what we, we're talking <laughs> about. Uh, we got bowling, wrestling. What's the last sport? Curling. Hell no. Track. I mean, I could mm -hmm. win in track because you can't run. Um, I mean. Um, oh, gonna... okay. Let me spell wrestling properly. Oh, I mean, we can even do. Um, what? Monopoly. No, that's not a fucking sport. Like the fuck. Swimming. Swimming. Oh, you can't swim? I can't. Oh. You wanna say swimming? You can't beat me in swimming. Okay, well I put swimming. I was I was privileged. Swimming. Growing up. I was uh swimming when I was young. Okay. All right, so y'all vote. Y'all vote. I mean, is that what the chat is talking about? Base oh no, baseball. I like that. You know, we can go to the I don't know, is it called the range where they shoot the ball and then you have to bat? Yeah. Can we do that? How the fuck do one of us win that? Okay, me. let's say they shoot 10 balls and we see who has the most hit. Okay, put that up there. Baseball. A lot of you, yeah, yeah, people are like, hell yeah. You really think you can hit the bit? Um, I don't know if I can hit. I, I never really play baseball. Hey, I'm hey, ladies, hey, ladies out there. I'm telling you, I know some of y'all done sucked the thing in the back of the Maybach. <laughs> when I win this 9 11, yeah, it's too small. Yeah, yeah, it's too small. You can't do that. Shit, my, my girls are flexible. Hey, y'all about 9 11 <laughs> vroom, vroom, Porsche. <laughs> yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Okay. My girl's about to get they. Ooh. So the poll is up. Uh, let me see. Myself. So oh, you guys go are go karting. Go karting. Yeah, go, go karting. People got a lot of bunch of go karting. It's too late. We say bowling, wrestling, swimming, baseball. The poll is up. No go karting. Well, I mean, they put go karting. It's too late. Well, I'm I'm gonna let the the poll run a no, little quick. Right. They're saying no, ah, I'm it's winning. it's moving still. I'm winning that 911, yo. I just you can get the 911. It's fine, but you're not gonna Back get shots it. Shots up in the 911. I want the fucking. Hey, lady, all my girls out there, if you see this. Please. Oh my girls, now yeah. they wanna come suck you in the 911 yeah. that you're calling. Mm -hmm. That's the call mm -hmm. you're making right now. You're wild. I'm about to tear your 911 up. I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. I mean, Wrestling. if you if you win, it Where won't be bad. I need to see the poll. Mm -hmm. Where the poll at? I need to vote. I want that naked wrestling. This is a cheesecake factory eating contest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat. Where's the poll? How do you see the poll? It's on YouTube. You gotta go to YouTube for real. So that's the poll right Wait, now. What's winning? Bowling 32, wrestling 24, swimming 30, baseball 13. So right now, bowling is ahead. I thought you guys would choose wrestling. I can beat him. But wait, so we're doing. <laughs> wait, you so, want wrestling, huh? <laughs> Show me what you got. <laughs> I, you I just have strong legs, How so I think if we're on the on the ground, on the on the floor, because we're not gonna be on the ground, on the floor, 
I think I can really lock you in and then you lie, uh, you, you lie, you lose, you lie. Uh, yes, so, me in, huh? so 149 people have voted and you hear how nasty bowling she is. is, she wants to wrestle and I clearly said naked the whole time. We didn't say naked on the floor. What are you fucking lying? I, I never did say heard. That's re- naked wrestling. You didn't say that. I did. Well, maybe I was busy. I didn't listen to that, but it's not gonna. You want to be on the floor locking me? Hey, hey. It's not gonna be naked. To obviously. Just do this. Take me on the chair. No. So, so we're gonna record it. So, so we people, record. We're gonna re- now, we're gonna see? record this, fam. <laughs> we're gonna record. Nine eleven. I want the nine eleven. You can't afford a fucking 9-11. What you're talking about? I want about. your 9-11 since you want to run off at the mouth. This goes for all. How? Hey, wait, wait, I'm doing why, this for the why, regular why, man. Why are I'm you saying beat run the out, shit out of her. Why are you saying run out of the mouth when you're the one who came and said, so I heard you were an athlete. Like you're the one who came at me. Yeah, I, was just, cool. I was just talking as an athlete. Then you're going to hit me with the, you're gonna hit me with the extra like, like you go about the big boy. Me. And I'm about to take your night. I don't know if you know about me in bets. You're gonna lose. So wait. So what are the rules? Here she go again. I need to win. No, because we need to know. Here she go again. Do I need I to win. win all the sports or best out of three or just one? What what is it? You gotta win in tennis, which is not gonna happen. You gotta what's 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 winning? So I gotta win in tennis. Okay. You gotta win in tennis. But right? basketball, you just gotta score one point. One point. Okay. And then bowling. I gotta win too. Yeah, we'll play what? If, is it bowling or is it no? Baseball? But wait, how is this bet fair? I cannot lose a- anywhere, pretty much. I have to win all the bets. You just got to win one. No, what you, what you were saying was I got to win in tennis. I got to yeah, make one it. point on a, out of 21, and then I got to win bowling. So I got to win all three to no, get no, the no, million? No, 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 no. No, if you win tennis, you won. If you win bowling, you won. So I just need to win one sport. One sport. And if you score one point in basketball... You win. I'm down. You ever play basketball? No. But I know how to shoot. <laughs> I don't care. I don't got to win in basketball. I can win in tennis. I can tell you this right now. I don't know what type of man I am, but I'm smart. If I win your 9-11 and you want it back, <laughs> uh, back shot bandit. <laughs> back shot bandit. Yeah, you want your car back, I'm telling you right now. Damn, Dominique, what you talking about? I'm not winning this. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Dominique. He's not going to win because uh, uh, I'm going to win. Like you're telling me I only got to win in one sport out of three. I'm Tennis, cool. Bowling. I'm cool. You Tennis. cannot run. And people are saying Gilbert might be out of shape and still win. What, what are you talking about this month? I'm out of shape. What y'all see my y'all see my video? Y'all better go on there. Gil might be out of shape and sit. Thank you, Landover. MD, that must be Maryland. I'm 25. Come on, fellas. And I'm I'm being a man right now. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna hide it. Why if you? I win your car, bro, why are you car, yelling? And you want it back, you better be like Joe Smith White. <laughs> you better do what it takes to get your car back. I don't need it back. I'll go get another one. <laughs> it's a fucking car. It's a car. So yeah, okay, so we're on. Let me see. Okay, the last results. They're saying bowling 37%, wrestling 27, swimming 27, baseball 10. So bowling. So bowling. So bowling. Basketball. Yeah, bowling. Just one round, huh? Just, just one, one game. We're gonna do one one game. game. Ten, ten, just ten, right? Uh-huh. Okay. One so time. One bowling. Tennis. One point in twenty-one in the baseball, uh, in a basketball, uh-huh. and then tennis. I gotta win to twenty-one. Okay. Shit, sure, I got you. I probably gonna. I don't know your. I don't. Know, I think I got you in all sports. I don't know how you play in bowling. I don't know basketball. Just I'm... one point. How you think you're not gonna let me score, or I'm not gonna be able to score one point? One point. It's fine. We're good. We got you. Uh, so yeah. So we're good to go. I'm, I'm the luckiest man on earth. I'm. You know what? I'm. I, I'm the luckiest woman because uh, I'm about to be a millionaire off of 
you. I'm not a millionaire. I'm about to be. Mm -hmm. I, I really appreciate you for or, I don't know. or sore trying to get your car back. I don't need the car <laughs> back. I get another one. But I'm telling you, I may become a millionaire. So I'm excited. All right. Uh, well, I don't need the car back. <laughs> I don't. You're what the one. I do? What do made you? The, you? You're the one with no car talking about. <laughs> I want my car back. You don't got a car, and you're perfect. Me, well, I'm going away. Okay, I don't go away either. I'm in the house. Yeah, you're gonna definitely be in the house when you lose your fucking whip. Let's see. Because I know I'm not losing. I know I'm gonna make a million. Should I should I get uh what should I get? Because <laughs> you know, if I win, I'm gonna go get a car with your million. What car should I get? Because now I can afford a car that's like three hundred thousand. What should I get? Um a Lambo. So you know I can have the Lambo for the weekend. <laughs> I'm making all type of plans. The Lambo for the weekend. No, 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 no. I'm tripping, t thinking about cars. I'm going to go buy a house. I, I was going to say. You know I, I don't got a house. Listen, I'm going to I'm gonna go buy a fucking house, put down 500000 get me a nice little house for like $2 million. I'm good. And then I have 500 more to enjoy myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Tell me. Way you the way you run around with your chest all high and shit with your double uh, shut the D's. fuck up. Nobody asked you. No, I'm just saying when you when your ex uh <laughs> called the uh, ISIS yes on you on your birthday. You're gonna do that? <laughs> I'm just saying I don't feel bad for you no more. That's the wild. way you acting right now. That is why. Oh, because right I'm fucking I'm competitive. No, no, because right, I'm competitive right, with somebody that came and tried me. Okay. Now I'm like, oh, I'm feel, I, I deserve I'm that. I'm not even going to feel sorry for these back shots. I deserve that. I'm hitting these back shots with all kinds. Of I don't know who you're hitting those back shots Cause on. Because you, you want your car back. Again, how many times I need to tell yeah, you yeah, I don't yeah, need the car back? Yeah, when you, yeah, okay. This guy I really know. think I need the car back. Hey, are we going to film that too? What the back shots? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this might happen a while. They are not happening. So okay. we might, I might come shoot you with the girls you're in, and I, I record. If you win the car, you want me. That's that's the extra the extra um, gift from the bet. You win the car, I come record you giving a girl back shots. I come and record oh, you. I don't need you to record that. Oh, okay. you can be in it or you can get No, the I'm well. Hey, look, I, I won't be here then. All right, so we know the bet: one million versus your nine eleven. Somebody said my bread always on many. Thank you, Ben Frank. Yep, Frank, I got you. Somebody said the alcohol is taking over. I'm not drunk. Just yeah, I'm not. This, so, this is a bet, y'all. <laughs> I'm bet. just excited. Okay. Uh, right, wait, somebody said what's many sign? So I don't know if you guys know, but we're the same sign. I'm the fifth of January is the sixth. So I think that uh, you say competitiveness mm -hmm. is that oh, yeah that mm -hmm. word exactly what you said uh, is taking over yeah that's what it is I'm not fucking losing like I don't know why you think you're not gonna lose but hey I'm feeling bad like can, can we do a poll can we do a poll fellas should I really take this serious I want my million so I don't care what they're gonna right, say, that, that, say I say, want my say, fucking say less. million say less. Tell us, we're good. All right, now I gotta teach you a lesson. So yeah, bowling is forty. So that that's it. I'm gonna end the poll. I gotta do this for the culture, y'all. I gotta do this for the culture. I gotta do this for the culture. Wait, I, I want to make a now, poll. I don't wait now. I'm gonna do this for the culture. Okay, I'm gonna make a poll. Who y'all got? Who y'all? That shit about to be ninety nine percent. They think they got you. Ninety nine percent. Who y'all got? We already had someone who tried to challenge me in uh, golf. Got her ass smacked. Like, I'm not playing this. Many. I'm not playing these games. I'll be trying. I'll be trying to be yeah. nice, but you know this. This is what happens. Nothing happens. You came at me, and now you want to. Y'all see? Y'all see the hat? <laughs> I'm a shooter all day. You better vote. For, you better vote. What did you vote? You better vote. I don't for need yourself. to vote for myself. I just put the uh, the poll up. If you guys uh, let us know who you think is gonna win. Are you free tomorrow or do you need to get some uh, some shots for your knee to be able to run? What do you need until we can go play tennis? Wait, so are, we do, are we filming live or are we pre-recording? What are we doing? Probably pre-recording because tennis, I don't think they want to see live 21 points. So I think we should pre-record and put it out. I already have so are somebody. So we doing all this in the same day? How are we doing this? Because, I mean. 
we don't got to do the same day because I want your knee to rest so you don't have an excuse on, oh, my knee was hurting from tennis. You know, we can do this over three days. You know, you, you get you get your shit. Well, 58% is many right now. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Melly 58, gear 42. 40. Yeah. Give them no, a little bit. No, no, I can't play tennis. That's facts. But I'm not losing to no girl. Like, well, what is she I understand do? your I'm not losing to what no girl. What is she going to do? I'm going to win. <laughs> what's the first one? And, and get a million. We can start with tennis. Then we do bowling. But if we if we do tennis, if we do tennis win. and I win, it's done. It's a done deal. Okay. Um, <sighs> if you actually to lose to a girl, just quit. So how are you gonna feel besides losing the one million? Is that gonna affect you? Just for real, losing a million dollars does it affect you or no? Losing what? A million dollars? No. Don't affect you. Okay, so you don't care about that. But what about? Losing to underdog, a girl. underdog fantasy. If you <laughs> <laughs> no. if you have underdog fantasy, <laughs> download uh, download the app using uh, promo Melly. code No Chill Gear. Melly, oh, use my promo code. code. Yeah. Use my promo code. It's better. Melly, I get you more perks. It's fine. Okay. Underdog fantasy. Yeah, but um, okay. So no, but answer my question. How you're gonna feel? So mentally, no, mentally. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you don't care about the money. But as far as um, how your mental and your heart and your pride, how is that going to feel to lose to a woman? I know I've never lost a woman, so I'm really... So you don't know? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Millionaire Melly. They, they already know. My people will be knowing I'm about to win. I mean, I don't know if they're my people. Ain't no damn way. Ain't no goddamn way. Melly no, is no. about to become a millionaire over my, overnight. You go, girl. Thank you, Anthony. It's it's happening. Let, let's see. Let's see. Okay, let, let me go real quick. Heel down bad? Come on, y'all. They said, woo! 57, Melly. 43, Gilbert. You're about to lose. It is fine. Are you serious? Yes, Would I'm serious. Write? Right here. Who y'all got? Melly or Gil? Melly, 57%. Man, I'm taking that card. I'm getting back to Huh? <laughs> you can't take the card before winning. That's all I'm saying. I'll give you the card. I'll 57. Y'all going to be mad because y'all was, they said you pregnant. <laughs> no, they said they, yo, you started off the whole thing talking about, hey, y'all think I'm pregnant. I win that card. Okay, get that car. I'm, I'm willing to give it. So so that's it. You wouldn't give up? The car. Oh. Stop with them fucking back shots. Don't I think you, me. I think you have enough. That's not part of the bet. Get your back shots from your girls. No, we're gonna do that in the nine eleven. But I'm just saying. If okay, you want get your them. Car back, that's I don't need the car back. I'm gonna go get another one. Yeah, please give Melly a million for no reason. Oh. Two million? You want to give me a million now and a million I mean, a when you lose? What the dudes at? They say girl is shaking in fear. You know you're scared. Tennis? You can't run. That's the main I'm thing. Not, I'm not playing against Frida William. I'm playing against a Frenchie. You French. Wemby is not a good player? In tennis? No. No, in basketball. No, he name somebody he, he in runs tennis. too. Name somebody French in tennis that's good. None. No, I know he, I None. know his face, but I None. don't know his None. name. Exactly. No. Yes. I'm not worried about no French. Whatever. It's, it's fine. So. Everybody is saying you're nervous. That's all I need to hear. Okay. I bet. All right. You're looking a little deflated over there. <laughs> he knows. He shook. He knows he made a bad deal. And now, oh, Gael Monfils. Thank you. That's who I was thinking about. You know him? Gael mm-hmm. Monfils. You probably know him. Tall, dark skinned guy. Who plays tennis? Tennis, Gael, mon fils. Mon fils? You probably know who he is. He be doing crazy shit. Oh, the very athletic. That's how I'm going to be on the tennis court. What are you talking about? That's the dude I'm going to be. You're not going to be. Be that motherfucker over your body. I'm going to be crazy. Right shit. Shit. Boom. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? That's who I'm going to be. Okay. All right. I, I want to see. I hope you, you're there. 
What, what, you want to play tomorrow? When we play? Tomorrow. I, I know some tennis courts hey, in the hey, North Hey, Carolina. chat, chat, this go off for you fucking 57, 57%. <laughs> if she doesn't upload a video when? this weekend, she got her ass whooped in tennis. I'm not going to upload this weekend. If we should If tomorrow, we lose tomorrow and I lost, 100%, she going to post this soon as possible. So I got to edit. Okay. Which would you would post when? Monday, if you lost. Monday. Yeah. So if there ain't no video of tennis match on Monday, that means she got her ass whooped. I'll post on Monday if we go tomorrow. Because, you know, your schedule will be busy. You'll be moving shit. So that means... Listen, Monday. Monday? Uh, I'll have the video up. You can post it on your channel, too. I'm not posting some shit if I lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're thinking about losing. Great. Why are you acting like me? Losing, okay, so, losing mentality so we, so, over here. So basketball... Yes, That's we said that. All right. I can, we can do this all in fucking one day. What are you talking about? Oh, you want to do everything tomorrow? We can do it. Like, I don't need I don't need knees to bowl, right? I just need arm. True. And then that's basketball. You're not scoring. Stop. You need to run in basketball. So I don't need to play. I'm going to make you a run. My son is five star. Okay, that's your me. son. That's he not you. He can't score one point on you. Oh, it is one point. You're exactly. He can score right. some points. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Gil, hey, somebody said my name. Gil Mo, Mo what's his name? What's the dude's name? Monfils. I'm G Gil Monfils. <laughs> I'm Gil Monfils. Yeah! All right, say this up. We're going to have to talk after this, because... Okay, we're done. That's it. It's fine. I, I find a shooter for tomorrow, and he comes record us. We're good. We're good to go. 9 a.m. on the court tomorrow. We start with... Um, what we started with tennis. Uh, I think we should finish with basketball because basketball is where I'm gonna show out. But um, you know what? <laughs> show off. But uh, but then I don't I don't know. You know bowling alleys that are open in the morning at like eleven. They're open. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So we do tennis, bowling, and then we finish with basketball. Ice your knees already. All right. Bet. Bet. That's it. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, thank y'all for showing up to part two of Melly. I guess it's Melly versus Gill at this point. Shit. Um, <laughs> and, um, you know, this is the battle of the sexes, obviously. This is the battle of the sexes. But both chats, thank you for coming out and supporting us. And um, hopefully that this uh, competition don't get too wild and we can do a It will be wild. I'm competitive, you're competitive. Whoever loses is going to be upset and going to want a rematch or something. But I'm making a million. I'm excited about that. I'm getting a million. <laughs> Wait, how am I? I'm going to be able to clear that check and put it just a million on my bank account? It looks funny, right? I might not be able. You have cash? <laughs> like a baby mama. You just put it in the cash check. The check of cash. No, no, no. Can we do cash? Yeah, hey, how you gonna put the 911 in my name? I call my financial advisor. That's fine. We can that's hey, that's easy. I sell you it to you for a dollar and then it's on your I name. That, yeah. That's easy. But yeah, that million bring cash. Okay. You, no, no, a check. Come on. I don't want a check. I'm gonna be taxed on the check. Tax. Give me cash. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, thank y'all for showing up. This was a blessing. You gotta get home. Unless you want to stay after and keep drinking, you know, go over the details. I'm cool. Okay. They say getting in cash. No, I'm cool with driving home. That's what I mean. No, that's not. I don't think that's meant. Hey, fellas, should I allow her to drive home and, you know? Yes. In this, in this, like, how many shots you took? You took you know, three drinks? You took three drinks. You had the same. So you said three, not three. That's my accent. Oh. Three. Don't drink and drive, man. See, the people, they, they, no, don't drink. She they said a million night. cash is crazy. But actually, can you just bring a yes, duffel bag? bedroom. Hey, can you just bring a duffel bag with a million at the house here? Because well, the, the last one, let's say I lose tennis, I lose bowling, then my last chance is here. So bring the million here. The same who want to be a millionaire game show? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to the bank and because obviously, if we're doing it tomorrow, I can't. 
You can't get a million like that no. out of the bank. Fuck. Man, I, you, you have a check. There'll be a check waiting for you. I'm going to wave it to you. I'm a, but I'm I don't a, want a I'm check. I'm going to put it, I'm going to tape it to my chest. So you no, but see, the check, I'm, they're going to take, how much are going to take out of a million in, in a check when I have to do my taxes? When if you give me cash. 41%. So Fuck no. So now I'm getting about 500. A little more. 600. Six. No. no. Oh, hey, that's hey, not a good deal. That's not my fucking problem. <laughs> that's not my problem. Okay, fine. All right, fellas, I'm going to do it for the culture. All right, so look, in this, say something to your chat. Who are you talking to? End this. I'm just saying, say something to your chat. I've already told my chat good night. Well, thank you, chat. Thank you for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a good time. Did you have a good time? Yes. You did? Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll keep you posted. We're going tomorrow, unless he flakes, but I'm ready for tomorrow. So, and uh, I'll try to upload it by Monday so you can see who got that minion. That's all. You're, you're sleepy? Yeah, you should go to sleep right now if we're playing tomorrow. I hope you, I hope when this, this camera goes off, you and me and say, oh, I was just playing. I will never. You even try that. A million compared to my car. My car is 130. You're talking about a million. I'm a bet my car. I'm a bet my fucking car. Right. I can go buy how many cars? <laughs> Five? <laughs> Six? Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. All right, let, let's go. All right, you, you want to end it since uh, Gilbert was Peace. the host? Peace. All right. Good night. Team Gil, all day. Let's see. We don't lose no girls. Sure. Never lost. Good night. Good night. I'm a